Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Iowan Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I'm Jessica. I also go by I Sneeze Stars online in places like TikTok and Instagram and other places if you care to find them. And I will be your shenanigan sovereign. Um, quickly, I'm going to run you through the games that we have on the channel, and then I will let my players take over. So, Monday nights, obviously, the Iowan Adventures. Tuesday nights, we have the State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign um, GM'd by uh, Cottlesworth at 7.30 p.m. EST. Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent at 9 p.m. EST uh, by Mr. Markham. Friday nights, we have The Legends of Kralis, a uh, TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Master at 10.30 p.m. EST. And some Sundays, we have The Rumors of Magic at 7.30 p.m. EST, GM'd by our very own Masrix24. Oh, and... Saturdays, for the next few Saturdays, we will be having the Moonstone Matriarchy at 9 p.m. EST, an all-girls D&D campaign. Okay, and don't forget to check out our Discord, our YouTube, and all that other fun stuff. Uh, Kara, would you like to take it away? I would. I'm Kara. Hello. Um, I will be playing Gilly Ghislaine, our um, water jazzy barbarian. You can find me on TikTok at Imaginary Caro and at uh, Corner Caro on the D and Denial Discord. James, hi, that's me. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, internet, uh, I'm James, otherwise going by Mazrix or Mazrix Twenty Four. Uh, pretty much everywhere. Um, most notably, I guess these days, hanging out on TikTok, sharing positive vibes, vibes in comment sections, uh, and here, and in the Discord, which was already mentioned. Uh, tonight, I will be playing, uh, depending, because life is complicated, so why not make your fantasy games complicated too, uh, either <clears throat> R of Day's Ark, our uh, variant human uh, Circle of the Stars druid, or... Varian Arbor, uh, the sort of smarmy storm sorcerer whose uh, soul shares a body with that suck of a human so uh hang in there and have some fun with us daniel i believe it's your turn did you forget he did no i just forgot to unmute which is totally different hi everybody i'm dan you can find me as the speed of candy on all of the various internet places uh tonight i'll be playing the mask of silver the half elf bard warlock who wants to go shopping just going to have a nice shopping session. Nothing too big. Is that chips that you're showing us? Sharing? Yes. Is caring? It's a very big Was that chip. one chip? It's so it big. Now put it all in your mouth like at the once. Size of your in your mouth. I believe in Without you. Breaking it. <laughs> Without breaking it. Without breaking it. I believe in you. I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> so close. So close. I appreciate Riveting the effort. entertainment. This is what you join us for. Right? <laughs> um... <laughs> God damn. Last time in AA episode 66, Goodbye Princess. Damascus turned on the charm with Beloth to snag a sundrop. Varian dished out some mom advice before leaving a surprise gift, the blood lily, in the treehouse. Faza and Gilly cooked up a friendship over breakfast, and Ray, Be Ray Bella gave Varian a chance, even if he isn't a friend to the trees. While the gang uncovered a soul-shaking secret about Roy's mom's banishment bonanza. And I believe that is where we come in. You guys are on the way to Thawne. Is there anything that anyone would like to do before you arrive? Uh, yes. So Varian would want to do two things. Because uh, we're traveling, right? We're, we're obviously like on the way to Thon itself proper. And uh, Raybella has finally, thanks to a note from her beloved knight, Arev Dezar, mm -hmm. uh, started to warm up ever so slightly to Varian. Mm -hmm. But she also stayed at the treehouse. True. But, <laughs> so the first thing is that I just kind of wanted to like mention that he was like kind of bristling with positivity. He like felt really good about himself because he's like, see, there you go. Nobody can resist the charm. Everything is going great for me. And 
you know, Aww. obviously believe it's things are looking on the up and up. And the second thing that he would love to do is tag along beside Roy. Okay. Is is Roy like a riding or walking? Like how's he how's he traveling right now? Uh Roy's walking. Perfect. So Mary would pull up sort of casually beside him and they'd probably pass, you know, like a kilometer or so. It's you hear, you just hear him sigh. <laughs> Varian, not to be outdone, sighs louder. He 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 ignores you, eyes front, just maybe this won't happen. Whatever's <laughs> about to happen, maybe it won't. Wait. No, I need a dice roll. No. Oh um, no. I need to I need to know what I do. Oh no. Hang on. Hold that thought. It's very important to me. I'm using my on, beautiful dice. unicorn die. That's, that's, <laughs> I'm glad you like those. I love them so much for him. <laughs> they are literally like they are like see-through, sort of the crystally gold. You can't oh there you can kind of see it. Oh, you can see it. And there's like a unicorn on like this yellow base on the inside. So there's like a little like rainbow horned unicorn in there. And it's so amazing. Can. Okay. Oh Hi goodness. Raiders, been welcome. <laughs> wow. Hi Raiders. Right in time. Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he. What? What are you doing? What shenanigans? <clears throat> so, um, how uh, how much does Roy hate the cold? <laughs> I mean, he lives in a tropical jungle, so I'd say he's not quite accustomed to it. <laughs> cool. So, um. With Roy, like, traveling, kind of sighing, and, like, obviously trying to, like, avoid everything that's happening, right? Varian's imitating and mimicking him for, like, most of, like, the kilometer or so. But it's, like, side-eyeing him and seeing just how hard he's not paying attention. Okay. And he thinks that he perceives a moment when, like, Roy's, like, actually distracted. So he just starts waving his hands ever so slightly and a couple like tendrils of uh snowflakes start waving around his hand and he plucks them out of the air ever so slowly just one two three and then his hands like weave a snowball um <laughs> as oh, a god i uh, uh, i'm calling it a, a non-damaging ray of frost i'm just okay. like i'm just puffing a snowball into my hand i'm just gonna chuck it at the back of his neck <laughs> So you so you fall back, you know, after a kilometer of just walking with him, you fall back, create a snowball and just chuck it at the back of his head. I'm going to see if he noticed that at all. Um, and we're going to see how he rolls. Come on, Roy. That's a, t- that's a 21 Really to trying hit. to get on his good 21 side. 21 to hit. Okay. Well, <laughs> unfortunately for him, he must have been looking off in the the wrong direction. And didn't Perfect. quite, didn't quite see you uh, slow your pace as you hit him in the back of the head. You get, <sighs> and he doesn't even say anything. He just stops and then turns really slowly to look at you. And where exactly did that come from? Where does what come from? I was looking off in the trees there. Were these trees always this tall? I mean, I know it's been a couple of years since our revs come home, but uh, I, maybe I wasn't paying too much attention, you know, being locked up in the old noggin back at that time. But it's are they, seriously, are they? Is that are these redwoods? Like, what's what's going on with this? You know, I don't quite understand what is happening with you, but I will flatten you if I have to. Oh, that's not very nice. I I may look like your uh, half-brother, but keep in mind, I am not him. Well, I mean, I am him. This is his body, but I am not... It's that's a a tight... might be a bit confusing. I'll give you that. You talk a lot. Well, not... Is it a lot? Is it not not enough? I can definitely do a lot more. So, um, okay, so it's only a lot. It wasn't, like, a lot, a lot. So, if that's the case, I've got some serious talking to do. And he just, like, Launches into a diatribe. <laughs> Bro casts like... tree stride and just takes off. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. He does, however, turn and huff and start walking and just like, what is it exactly that you want over his shoulder? I follow along behind him and I go, I mean, since you started the conversation after at least a kilometer of uh, dour silence, uh, I was kind of wondering if you have any uh, anything you need to get off the chest that you might have wanted to perhaps talk to the alter ego that's uh, in this body, but considering he's only sort of half around right now, you could sort of get out of the way um, without fear of him having a moment to say his own piece. I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you think I'm going to say to him? Fuck if I know. It's your words to say. I was just giving you an opportunity. If you don't want it, I, you're the one who thinks that a snowball hits you in the middle of the jungle, Kook. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't hold that one together. <laughs> You're just <laughs> gaslighting this poor man now. This part, I love it so much. I, I preemptively rolled a twenty for deception. I don't know whether that matters. Like an, an eleven plus nine, it was a dirty twenty. <laughs> I, I don't know that that matters. It was, I, it was, I, let me let me roll his insight. It was helping me role play a little bit. I'm like role playing as if he believes <laughs> that he is getting away with it, but oh my god, oh, <laughs> you really have to have better insight than this. No, apparently not. Okay, <laughs> no, eleven. He's just he doesn't know where it came from. I guess he believes that it wasn't you, but <laughs> just thinks he's hallucinating. It's been a long couple of days. <laughs> He is very focused on the actual mission, you know, of his that we're on right now. Yeah, you know, he's focused saving on his wife. saving his, his, you know, the daughter, the daughter, the daughter, the mother of his, of his child. And you're, you're like, hey, why are you sulking as we walk home to your crazy uh, mother and her, it's very dramatic. her soul banishing ways? But have a good time while we're walking. What's the big he, deal? He, he will, in fact, throw in, like, in the middle of his, like, constant, like, monologue as Roy is, like, emo-ly sighing this off. Go, mm -hmm. so this kind of sounded like uh, the, the one we're going to save. She's really just, uh, she's the mother of your child, right? You two haven't actually tied the knot, if you know what I mean. So let's say you have a vacant position for a best man, and I'm just saying that I'm up for the position <laughs> if you have it. I've got a wild night planned as soon as we get. There's so many places I haven't been because I haven't been in control. Do you know that a red... I would rather die. Oh, perfect. You don't want to die, so that means that I'm in. Excellent. I'm going to start planning right now. And I'm just like, he like walks on. <laughs> he, you just, Roy is just like, I don't know. You like struggling. Um, <laughs> and you hear as you walk on winter kind of takes up your place beside roy and just goes he's like that yeah but he's really good if you get to know him. i i don't i don't think i want to get to know him i don't you'll change your mind very and very just calls back as like the last thing he wants to say he shouts back i've already put about 13 strippers and like that's it and when you say that, you uh, Roy gets this look on his face. You don't see it, but it's it's pure just delight as he shouts back to you. You mean where your daughter works? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly that. Yeah, and, no, and no you hear faces. Shots fired. Okay. <laughs> Is anyone else doing anything as you walk? <laughs> is Thawne close to the ocean at all? Uh, Thawne is on a basin that connects that connects out into there. Okay. I'm guessing, so would I have been there, you think, or not? No. Um, I would okay. say that you did most of your uh, sailing on the other side or through the sea to uh, the Godlands. All right. So... After Roy presumably gets as far away from Varian as physically possible, uh, Gilly's going to just step into that little slot and say, Hey, uh, so you're from around, well, 
you sort of are from around here. Correct? To the Troy? Oh no, to uh to Varian. Okay. I mean you could say that, of course. Um let's so I So when I was from around here, and this might be a bit confusing, do you see, you know, all of this all around you, the trees and the jungle and the heat and all that nonsense. Indeed. The only thing that's actually kind of familiar is the heat. Actually, it was it's a shade, pun not intended, cooler than it was back in my day. Oh, Fuck, I sound old. Yeah, well, I just mean like when you were inside of uh, Arev's head, because Arev's from around here, right? Oh, yes, no, Arev, yes, of course. Uh, sorry, I thought you were, I thought you were asking, you know, me the question. Um, that's also interesting. Uh, Just Arev. slightly less relevant to the thorn situation. I no, as, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, at uh, <laughs> thorn had not even been born, if you will. That's that's the time that I was alive. So, um, uh, oh, yeah, a red's lifetime though. That was a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Wait, why? Have Is you ever had to? No, have you ever had to undergo puberty, but like twice as not in control because it was like not even you in the body. It was somebody else making all the stupid decisions while you were sitting there thinking, no, don't do that. For that. No, no. Again, not for the third time today. Put the coffee down. It's just... <laughs> coffee. It's you hear it. a snort behind you, by the way, and that is definitely Roy, but he's trying to cover that up. <laughs> I was not expecting you to say coffee. <laughs> Put the coffee. My mind went in an entirely different direction, but I appreciate your mind always goes that direction, hun. Anyway, <laughs> I was wondering <laughs> if there's any place in Thorn you would recommend we uh, check out while we're there. I feel like a bit of a tourist, honestly. I haven't been out this way at all. You know, other than the the brothel where the child and all, all of that. And the mission to save the... I suppose we're not really on a, like, pleasure trip, but, you know. Um, I'm enjoying seeing the world. It's a bit of a trouble. I don't blame you. I, I feel a bit like a tourist myself, if I'm going to be honest. It's the first time I'm, I'm heading back to the hometown of Arev, and I get to make the decisions. That's true. Go driving. So touch everything. <laughs> Get those oh. grimy mitts all over. Yeah. Like in, in response to Faisal, he like gets his hands up and starts like waggling his fingers. And the mage hand <laughs> appears beside him, so there's actually three hands, like, <laughs> ready to touch everything. <laughs> and uh, he's just like, well, you don't have to worry about that. I'm ready to go. Um, <laughs> but he, he turns and he goes, to be honest, um, as much as maybe I don't want to go there, uh, if you get a chance... After we rescue, you know, Roy's paramour um, from the clutches of his evil, demonic, possessed mother or whatever is going on there. Um, it's just a guess. I don't know. I, tur I turn to Roy and I go, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have, I do not have foresight. That's not a thing that I have. Don't. It's a just, theory. It's really. You ever heard of a mo your mom joke? They're really in poor taste. That was kind of what that one was. So I apologize sort of in hindsight. But he turns back. Unfortunately, you are not wrong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I turn back and go. Mommy issues activated. Ba, ba, ba. That being said, as much as I don't per se want to go back to that particular spot, there is always the Tree of Ancient Whispers. Uh, at the shores of the Emerald Basin, you might actually want to uh, to take a look at um, in your spare time. Of course, it's I hear it's quite impressive to those that 
haven't, you know, spent 50,000 years living as a soul screaming inside of its bark. But <laughs> um, you hear a snort from Roy. But this one's more like it's not it's not amusement. It's just ha, you're an idiot. I, I like I look at Damascus and I go, that's dope. Warming him up. We <laughs> moved the tree. You move the tree? How do you move a tree? I can travel through them and you think we can't move a tree? You can travel I mean, through trees? This is nice to me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Wait, so where did you move the tree to and why? Out of the city so that it was surrounded by more... Uh, you know, less people and kept more safe. Hi. Oh, important tree, I suppose. Probably smart. Um, when did it get moved, if you don't mind my asking? A couple thousand years ago. Oh. So when you say Before... we, we're talking the royal we, not like <laughs> you and your friends. Yes, oh no. Oh, on, oh, in sometimes in in Thon, sometimes when we get drunk, I I go and uh, we move trees. <laughs> you just said you walk <laughs> the through fun trees, moving hey, trees. If I can move difference. trees, I would absolutely do that. <laughs> that is not out of the realm of possibility. I kind of look at Dilly. I'm just like, I mean, you're real strong. You could probably uproot a tree if you really tried. <laughs> Please don't. At least not I'm here. Try next time. <laughs> not, not in, not in Raya. Ray Ben is going to get mad at me if I do that, though. Oh, she will be very angry. Yes. You know, there's actually a very funny story from a Rev's uh, time. Roy, do you mind if I tell the story about the time when you were like? Tw I'm going to tell it anyways. So he's not kidding. He got drunk one time, and uh, so he got <laughs> a Rev a little bit on the sauce at the same time, and um. They they decided to go streaking along the, the shores of the Emerald Basin. Uh so the next morning, um, there always used to be this uh beautiful uh sort of elder poplar tree at uh back uh at a rev's place, just in the sort of courtyardish area. Um I don't know whether you notice that there's sort of this um le leaf lacking ash tree that's uh there now. Um so that's because it's actually a bare ash, um, and it's quite literally, uh, he got drunk and he thought it was funny, so he moved it instead of the poplar, and so now there's a constant reminder of that time that a rev and him had a, their bare ashes out at the shores <laughs> of the Emerald Basin, and it's just... Uh, he was it's... too drunk to remember that night. I'm I'm very glad you have said it again. Oh, just a good day. It's, I... Just as a reminder, I've been around for the whole ride. He may take, you know, 14 or 17 shots of the local liquor, but uh, it doesn't actually affect the soul who's in the body, but not part of the body. Uh, am I? Oh, it affects me now. To know, actually. Oh, it, it would affect me now, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, dear. Ooh. Roy, by the way, looks mortified at this We're story. More permeable. Miss? I'm delighted. <laughs> yes. Roy, you sound like you used to be fun. <laughs> I... Pull the I, necklace used to be fun. <laughs> I, I I pull um the necklace that's hold, holding the soul of Miss Lynn, my my sister, uh, up. I go, Miss Lynn. Mm. The whiskey will actually. Oh, I'll, I'll feel the whiskey. Then we better get to Thorn now and find a bar. I'm running. <laughs> I literally <laughs> just take off. <laughs> just take off. <laughs> I'm on board um, for this little side I... quest. Pull out my alchemy jug and pour myself a little drink. Take a sip <laughs> and look at Gilly and go, should I tell him? Just let him run. <laughs> nah, he's getting a bit of energy out. I, I offer think that's it to her. <laughs> <laughs> so very offer it to Gilly. Like running oh, yeah. off ahead. <laughs> the rest of the party like is it. drinking. <laughs> Just not, not a lot, but yeah. Just a little warm up. Should we? We're getting like time. no. We're okay. getting like golf course drunk. This, this is like the, <laughs> a, a mimosa at breakfast time. Respectable. Yeah. yeah. By the time uh, Varian gets about ninety feet away, uh, Faze 
jo- like jogs five feet forward and then just vortex warps him back to where you guys are. Turns the face up. Now you might be quite beautiful, but that was not fair. You think I'm pretty? Doesn't everybody? I thought it was just. A- he turns to Carol. And he goes. She starts turning to- bright red. He-, he-, he turns to Gilly. He goes. Wasn't that just sort of common? Did I? That was just commonplace, right? That was just a fact I stated. Oh yeah, this is an ex- oh, accepted fact. Yeah. yeah. Everybody stop, thinks you're pretty. Stop! Stop! No! Stop! <laughs> stop! Okay. <laughs> She just covers her face as you guys continue <laughs> walking. I stay with the group this time. I don't run. <laughs> uh, you get a you get a drink at some point. You guys yeah, walk on. Um, let me tell you what you see as you approach Thon. So, Thon is a large metropolis built in the trees of Rhea. Uh, the houses are constructed using a variety of materials, including wood, stone, and clay. Many of the houses are built on platforms high in the trees. They are connected by a network of rope bridges and walkways, as well as being built into the tree trunks. They have carved wooden doors and windows. Some of the larger ha- uh, some of the larger houses are built on multiple levels with multiple rooms and amenities. The houses of Thon are designed to blend in with the surrounding jungle, and the citizens of Thon take great pride in their homes. Many of the houses are decorated with intricate murals and carved and carved uh, walls. Um, some houses even have small gardens or terraces where the residents can grow their own food or relax in the cool evening breeze. Overall, the houses in this city are a blend of kind of practicality and beauty, reflecting the harmony between the city's inhabitants and the natural world that surrounds them. The city is built around a large body of cool green water called the Emerald Basin. Um, there are many places of interest within the city, including a bustling marketplace where traders come from far and wide to sell their goods, a grand temple dedicated to Vara, and the outskirt and on the outskirts of city, the prestigious Lauren Conservatory Lauren Conservatory. I cannot speak tonight. Um which is for young druids to practice their magic. Uh the city is ruled by the eldest druid. Currently Ansi and Arbor. What would you guys like to do as you approach? That sounds beautiful. I want to live there. Me, Kara. <laughs> sounds quite nice. As you continue on, you see signs that are um, that say don't grasp, don't pull the vines because they may be no ropes. Ah. Yeah. Gasta <laughs> starts suspiciously looking at every single vine we walk past. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> <laughs> What would you like to do? You can head to, you can go shopping, you can go to the gardens, you can go to the uh, the lake, you can see the Eldest Druid. What is the party feeling? You can oh, go to the brothel. What focus do we want to be? Because we've got two main objectives. Uh, Royce will have I to guess... figure out where his wife is. Okay, so he's going to do that while we mm-hmm. have a day. Is there a place in the city that we can meet later once you figure out where she is Roy. Where... Well where are we... where will you be staying? I guess that's what I'm asking. Turn to Varian. Do you know of a cozy little tavern? There are taverns, there are um you can always see if the druid will take you in, the eldest druid. It's... You are you are family. He looks at he looks at uh, uh, Varian. So, I appreciate the thought, but um, I currently, although I am in the body of family, um, don't exactly want to go explaining how I am not family and yet look uh, not like family, him. right? Arbor, okay, sure, so, not family. What? No, it. Mm, he like narrows we his have eyes. The same le- yeah, yeah, because. Mm. 
you know, it's been quite a while that I've been here, and at the same time, I never really put the two and two together. Does that make me like your great, 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 <laughs> or something. Now listen here, you whippersnapper. You don't fuck. tell your elders to shut <laughs> up. <laughs> the first that time he like explain. swears, just drops it like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that does explain the back of my day's stories. It's true. Um, what I was thinking though, as much as it might be nice to go knocking on uh, you know, Ensign's door and request asylum, um. There is, in fact, just a, a, a local tavern that um, Orev has stayed at a few times uh, in, in between, you know, his schooling at the uh, Druid school and the uh, missions he was working on with his mother's. Um, it's called the Druid's Drove. Mm. It's, it's not exactly a terrible establishment. Roy points in the direction you want to go. Do you have to go up though? Uh, oh, I want to go we... up. No, this seems fun. Up. Why don't we split here, Roy? You can, I don't know, hunt for clues, talk to whoever you need to talk to to figure out where your where your wife's late uh, been hidden away. And yeah, Roy, do you tonight. want help from us with your detective work? We're very charming. People you love know, us it's kind of like, uh, you know, I feel like if I had you help me, it would be like a bull in a china shop. Oh, yeah, uh, because you become the bull because you get frustrated. It's fair. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, I'm going to, to go and see us. my grammar. I mean, at some point, we should probably at least check in with, with the Grand Druid or whatever. Eldest Druid, okay. Eldest, Eldest Druid, yeah. The, the... I think, you know, it's just... <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't, he just leaves it. If you come, I will bring you to the tavern. If you wish to come with me, you can after. And he uh, takes you further a little bit into Thawne and then takes a right and there are these, um, these vine and wooden, uh, vine and wooden, steps that start winding around a thick tree and he'll lead you up into the treetops um, and, and, as a small aside just as he starts leading varian kind of goes up and he goes so just to let you know my whole attempt to take them to the thing was to prevent them from doing exactly what they just did hmm <clears throat> He just he just nods. I am. And 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 then just kind of like this is I don't know why I do this to myself. That's the vibe you get off him. <laughs> uh, but he brings you to uh the Druid's Drove, which is a treetop paradise made of fine hardwood that is stained and polished in a deep a deep cherry color. It has ornately covered wooden doors and it and an impossibly smooth and shiny floor when you walk in. Um, the walls are engraved with runes of power and sorcery that depict vines. Um, and behind the, um, I suppose you would say the the desk. There's It's like a small desk. The place is fairly open. There are, uh, there's a... A fire going in one corner. There's also you also notice when notice when you walk in, the temperature drops inside, like Ooh. it's artificially cool. Um, AC. They do have AC, and there are stairs that lead up. You're not sure where, but the um. In the room with you, there is a woman sitting behind a desk, going through some papers. Um, she's a half elf uh maybe mid 40s ish has brown hair and brown eyes and like a really soft but cute cute face she's about five feet tall just sitting there going through her stuff when you come in she looks up and she goes ah welcome welcome oh Roy, what are you doing here that's a good start <laughs> perfect he he just <laughs> nods he goes i i am 
dropping off travelers. Brenda, yeah, yours, yeah. do we get a family and friends discount? No. No, he's not a friend of mine. He is an ex-boyfriend. In that case, I've never met this man in my life. I mean, we barely know him. Just hit, hit him up on the road and it's... Mm. We don't have lack of much either. Would a Rev know her name? <laughs> you would. It's it's Lorna. Lorna. Oh, Rev. <laughs> she sees you and she comes up. She gives you a kiss on the cheek. Oh, where have you been? You know, I've been around a few places. I've uh, accidentally uh, picked up a local dialect while I've been uh, on my journeys. So, <laughs> I mean, it's been a, at least a year or so. I, I hope you don't mind the terrible rendition of my usual accent. I think it makes you more handsome. Oh, thank you. You get Laura. a little pat on the cheek. Stop, <laughs> you'll make the old man blush. She raises yeah. an eyebrow. And we talk about ourselves in third person now, huh? And like we are old men, okay. Again, it's a bit of a... I, I don't know whether you've ever been uh, south of Brom, but... Uh, They've got a whole weird custom about third person and talking to yourself, but the kids there act like they're 45. It's really bizarre. <laughs> He's become eccentric in his travels. You know, that is not what I expect from them. No, of course. It, it's very bizarre seeing a, a, a kid hobbling along with dyed gray ash hair and a cane. It's, it's kind of unnerving, to be honest. You'd think it's something to do with like the local uh, mines or something, but I swear it's just it's just a custom. Is that the new fad, then? Perhaps, perhaps. Anyways, it's lovely to see you. You're, you're looking very well. It never, Honestly, it, it, the second you shed Roy, it's like you de-aged 20 years. You look gorgeous. <laughs> okay, well, it is. You are here. I am going. <clears throat> Don't <laughs> let the door hit you on the way out. Okay? See you around, Roy. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> he just he's walking out. Uh if you would like your rooms, I can lead you to some. How many do you need? One? How many are there? How many of us are there? One. I mean we Are we gonna could... bike together? I'm fine with this. Slumber party. I take out my wand to let us have our little condo. All right. Got it. <laughs> I see. Okay. One room. Uh how many beds will you need? I just go... one. We're freaky. Just the one. We like to cut. Okay, well, we don't judge here at Tony. It is fine. You you do you. And she <laughs> she'll bring you up to a very nice room. <laughs> With a large bed. <laughs> the rumor mill has already been done. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Rev. Oh, my. Okay, well, you have a oh, very nice time, Ariel. Right? Um, I'm so glad you finally found someone. Someone's, okay. Yes. And she'll she'll, <laughs> she'll go back downstairs. What is a D&D &D party? It's not a weird polycule. Oh, God, I love it so much. Uh. What do you guys do? What's the plans? Oh, I, I want to. I want to see the puppy. You want to see the puppy? <laughs> yeah. You call for Dodger. Oh yeah. He appears. He's running through the wall. The oh, boy. Start scratching at where the ghost ears kind of are, but kind of not. So my hands. His, his like... foot starts going on the floor, just like thump, 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 thump. My head's like touching the semi solid, like not quite solid after he's been blessed to be like more here. Like, so my fingers like scratch the ears and like occasionally like go in, and the foot just like taps harder. Yeah, thump, 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 thump. <laughs> so, ah, oh, you know, close. I know you're kind of more of a rev sort of speed there, pup, but you've worked your way into my heart too, so don't you dare go anywhere. He gives you the belly. <laughs> Perfect. Attack. <laughs> scritch, 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 scritch. That's what about, oh, so, did you want to go shopping? Yeah, I suppose 
we should poke our way around town, see if we can't pick up anything on the new on the room in the mail. And then once that's dealt with, maybe we pay the elder visit elder druid visit ourselves. Okay. We are gonna have to pay the younger Arev a visit at some point, correct? Are we gonna wait until Arev is here to do that? I suppose, ideally. Do we have more than a day? I don't think we know yet. Do we? I th- think we were sort of waiting on Roy for that one. And, I mean... Okay. It just seems like it's kind of important. I don't know. Up to I... Rev, I suppose. Is he answering you? <laughs> I can try... Internal dialogue. We don't, we don't really have that sort of deeper connection, but I, I can try if it's any sort of if it's any sort of important. It is kind of important. Uh, I, mean, she's, I feel like he'd be mad if we were here and didn't. We can also always try again tomorrow, though. Like, if we spend the night, it's possible that you wake up as Marev. That's true. Can you, like, try to sleep really hard? <laughs> Do you want to take a nap? I don't. I mean, the the last we time just I knock him out. <laughs> last time I slept really hard. It was no. I'm not going to make that joke. Uh... <laughs> no, no. Finish that joke, please. Uh <laughs> I I would love to hear that joke. Varian was just corrected gonna... in my head. I've been around sailors my whole life. <laughs> Varian was literally just going to say, "The last time I fell asleep hard, it was in a brothel. So that would be just very awkward considering his daughter's there." <laughs> mm. Bets, and then he kind of goes. Do you think? He, and he's like rooting around. Do you think he still has any of that bone finger tea floating around? That sounds wow. dreadful. Well, Why so, would you want to drink something called bone finger tea? Remember when we told you that not to use the other coffee maker because um, a red oh, right. in it? Yeah, it's real finger. Yeah, it's Hello. a bit of a long story, but there was this uh. Wicked old, well, young dwarf lady who uh, sort of became a statue, and when she was a bit of a statue, she got pulverized by by a spell. By a you know, blew her up. Someone blew her up, right? I I can't quite remember. She blew up somehow. It's odd to spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous combustion is a thing. Damascus. Spontaneous combustion is real. What? (laughs) Anyways. Um, <laughs> it's all this time. So, Stone uh, lady blew up, make a tea out of a finger. It was, it was a weird. It was a weird time in his art. Happened. <laughs> but uh, anyways, if you, if you drink from the tea, you sort of get um, I don't know. Um, you dream a little bit more dreamy, and you get pulled from the plane, if you will. Um, you're sort of. You're you're not here, and you're not you know in Beloth's um, shiny realm. You're sort of it fucks you up. I got it. In this he wants to visit his, his pretty demon boys. No, oh, no, 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 right? No, 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 no. You got me all wrong. See, I was thinking you are normally, actually, entirely. It's been a rev who drinks the tea, and when he goes, um, I don't go with him. But oh. if I'm the one who chooses to drink the tea, maybe because it's a Rev's body and he's kind of half awake now, and he like in his head goes, Hey buddy, you know you're sort of paying attention. I don't know how much you've got, but I'm trying my best. And he like so he out loud says, So maybe because it's sort of both of us now, if I drink the tea, um both of us will go. And then that might sort of be a maybe I can forget to take the flight back, so to speak, for like a little or bit. Maybe you'd go and he would stay here. Where would you go? Do you think you'd go to the same place? I really hope I don't go where I think I'm going. Actually, that could have been said pretty much my entire life. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, baby. <laughs> You're welcome to try. Do somebody make some tea then? 
It as, would be helpful to have some sort of control over the whole RF variant situation. So if you've got ideas on that front, it's worth testing them out. Are you saying you don't want to see me again, Gilly? I was, no, I was, I'm saying, I was thinking I was in some cases, in some just, cases, I would prefer to see you over RF. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay then. Yeah. I'm I went from offended to flattered pretty okay. fast. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's the thought, the thought, or thought number one is perhaps, um, this is James discussing, not smarmy Irish guy, mm -hmm. um, that maybe if I drink the tea, because it sort of like sucks, um, a rev, when he's dreaming, at least when he goes to sleep into this sort of, because it's not really where the demons are from. It's kind of this like in between almost like like an ether or like a like an um, ethereal zoom meeting kind of um or if you're really nerdy and watch dragon ball z it's kind of like the hyperbolic time chamber nope sorry okay that's <laughs> i got you i got the, i got the reference <laughs> <laughs> thank you uh it's it, it anyways in that show there is a room where you can go in and when you go in it um, the door locks and you spend a full year, but it's like its own separated, like, it, basically it's like a, you go through the door and then you pocket walk dimension. into this like pocket dimension where it's nothing but literally blank white space and like a building with all of the food and water and everything that you need to actually live for a year. Oh my so God, that, I want one of those. So that you can like, you know, train or practice or do whatever you want for a year. And in the real world, only a single day passes. And so that's kind of what I'm getting at for like, not that Varian would know what that is, but he does know that something fucky happens with time uh, whenever Arev enters this dream space. Um, He doesn't know firsthand, but he knows something gets fucked up because Arev always seems really dramatically changed like more time passed than a single night every time he comes back so um anyways yeah that's kind of what he offers the group in terms of information then at the end of that he goes but of course i'm not really interested in you know shoving somebody's dead finger in a teacup and putting that down my throat so if anybody has a better yeah. idea i'm happy to go along with the crew i mean it's not a terrible plan. We all right. We should probably head to the brothel at some point and meet a rev's daughter. That we'll doesn't plan have to on that to tomorrow, provided we can get a rev. Since we know we don't have him today, I mean, maybe we yeah. can find like a poultice or something that you could take or or put on. That's or true. Something if already shopping that helps. In a bad idea. Maybe I don't know. I'm I think, really just grasping at straws here. I think eaten finger and uh, secluding yourself into a demon dimension is it's maybe Plan C, D, <laughs> even. Maybe we don't and, jump to that right away. Plan D for demon. I like that one. Let's go with Plan D. All right. Let's. I think we'll poke our way around town first. See if we can't pick up the trail of maybe Roy's wife or, uh, you know, what in the hell is going on around here. Shopping montage, shopping montage. <laughs> that's, right. that's those while we're at it. <laughs> so you guys are going to go shopping then, yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll poke our way around the keeping an ear open for rumors and, and yeah. any... Anybody Survey who's like, hey, surrounds. I'm a guard and I was at the secret cells that the Grand Druid's daughter keeps her enemies in. If we see anything yes, like that, I'd like to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't let my role-playing enthusiasm confuse you. I absolutely want to go purchase some shiny new magic items, so let's go. <laughs> Which Whichever you guys want, I just need to be able to get there. So, uh, so you, you want to go shop, you want to look around... Go shopping and see if you hear anything as you're out and about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Good plan. Then. 
you guys want to go to I guess we'll start we'll start an order I guess so the old vial which would be potions and I have potions and scrolls here someone wants to go there do you guys all know what you're getting or do you want me to just like I, go through each freaking place one by one? I'm looking I'm in the Discord I from okay, I'm, I'm there. That I'm getting there. I had a couple of things at the old vial. Okay, okay, so we go through the old vial. So where we are here, potions and scrolls. Here we go. So you guys are. I mean, Varian knows this place at least well enough having been here a few times to be able to lead you about on the crisscrosses of, uh, you know, bridges and up and down through the trees to get to where you need to go in this um, treetop city. Uh, you eventually make it to the old vile, which is, so the entrance to this old, this place, it's about 70 feet up in a tree and it has moss growing all over it. The building is made of uh, dropping things of timber and (laughs) and like finely crafted clay shingles for the roof. Inside the store itself is set up around a man-made pool of like glowing multi-hued liquids. Um, And you notice immediately that store is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Weird, right? Um. There's a male tiefling at the pool who, when he sees you, um, he's basically, he's tall, he's slender. He's, um, he wears this like really red poncho, like a very red poncho uh, with like same color trousers. And he's got this pair of like thick goggles that he takes off and just puts on his forehead when he sees you. His hair, while still mostly dark red, has like these prominent gray streaks in it. And he looks at you and he goes, oh, come in, in, come in, welcome, what, come on in. Is there, is there anything I can get for you? Uh, let's see. We might just browse around. Or do you have anything that you recommend in particular? We're going on a bit of a... Just just here for... Mom saving just try some potions? What? Yeah, that's weird, right? Well, we're adventuring. Uh, just we're stocking up. Do you have anything that's... uh? Helpful for adventuring? I mean, we have potions of strength, of invisibility, in, in, invulnerability, um, invulnerability, longevity, got some mind reading potions, we got some poison. poison strength, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Billy he would like out. to purchase a potion of hell giant strength legs. <laughs> no problem. He's like, yeah, yeah. And he goes and he gets this like little bottle that's like this fluorescent pink color. He goes, I make it look this color because it's pretty. Nice. It <laughs> I, I like the way you think. <laughs> so, so I'm picking you... up a potion of hell giant strength and a scroll of mending. All right. Yeah, totally. We're on my list. You do that. You can take that the money off uh after the game yeah i'll just uh anyone else you're uh, all good here damascus is just Potion. browsing and picking stuff up and looking at it he's not gonna buy anything he okay, touches but everything likely when you, when you touch die, everything, do we need healing potions uh you would not get that here elsewhere yeah you would get that at the far magicians got it um did you touch into anything and turn into a frog you're about to touch touch this like this one potion that he grabs your hand from and goes no 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 that stuff's deadly you only touch that with mage hand or or cover your hands yeah why wouldn't you put it in a container that you can touch (laughs) no because most people aren't so dumb (laughs) maybe you should put a sign or something Right underneath it, there's like the smallest tiny sign that says poison, no touchy. <laughs> he goes, there is one. Oh, that's a skull. I thought it was a llama. Never mind. <laughs> uh, is there anywhere else you guys are going? You want to go um, to yes. uh, the Mad Owl, I think? I do, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I go to the Mad Owl. Yes. I, I have three. Um, yes. I want to go to the Mad Owl. I do want to go to the Far Magician, and I want to go to Leaf It to Me. So my face to me. Okay. Yes. I would and then also I had like closed-minded. To to there and Gnome Tech 
and <laughs> the pleasant missile. I'm going everywhere. You want? You okay, so I'll just, just start reading you through stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically going everywhere. I have it's something just, I'm buying everywhere. Just like start start at the top of the list and be like, this is the next place. Who's going here? We're like, I'm in. I'm in. Okay. So, like, okay. Walk- so we'll go to the trinket store next then. Um, <laughs> when you walk across a couple bridges and you get to uh, the trinket store, which is the Mad Owl, um, high in the sky, connected to other trees from rope bridges. Uh, the Mad Owl is the Mad Owl. From outside, it looks humble, rustic, and inviting. Um, the outer structure of the building is large green, a large green and waxy covered tree. Um, the door is made out of quartz, and it has a double-sided wooden bolt with uh, a key lock that is covered in thick yellow fungus. As the door frame, um, as is the door frame, and but the walls surrounding it are not. So, like, you can touch the walls. I wouldn't, I mean, I necessarily wouldn't say touch the fungus, but you can do what you do you and find out. Um, When you go in, the floor is made up. Hmm? Oh, no. So, Varian definitely goes, Oh, Rev Rev would never let me do this. (laughs) And he, like, runs up to to touch the doors. And he literally, like, two hands extended, and then, like, half an inch from the actual mushrooms, he's like, No, you wait. I promised Rebella I'd do my best to keep him safe. Use the mage hand. But I can use the mage hand. And like this like cyan <laughs> blue mage hand like <laughs> comes rocketing past his head. Like, you, like if you blinked, you'd miss it. Just <laughs> like smacks the mushroom as he like backs up 10 feet just in case. And you, the mu- it, everything starts to light up. <gasps> Um, and it's like this yellow flashing, and you hear woo, woo, <laughs> like an Amazing. alarm or like <laughs> alarm. security <laughs> alarm. <laughs> it's security fungus. I'm so down. I need to figure out how to make security fungus. Delightful. I love that. Ah, delightful. Hey. Ah. Okay. Um, all right. All right. When you walk in, the floor is made of like pebbles encased in glass. Uh, inside is a a middle aged human male. Uh, he's about five nine, five ten, very average build, with this beautiful brown wavy hair and light blue eyes. And he sees you, and he kind of waves at you, but then goes back to just playing with this little loot in his in his lap what are you guys looking for i'll jump in first this time i'm i kind of go around the store doing very similar thing to what i did last time because i don't touch, touch 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 touching up just pick up various things um i will pick up a little crystal vial filled with this bronze vapor and just a little vial of smoke in it I'm like, I don't know what this does, but seems neat. It's the ever smoking bottle. What's it do? Don't uncork it in here, please. Well, do what, not. What it, it will fill a room with smoke because it never stops. I can see that coming in handy. Can and you? At the very you least, are the I'm only someone... person. Well, if I can't. I almost drop it. <laughs> okay. Yep. We're gonna if put I... the things down, and we're gonna we're gonna look with our eyes and not touch. Okay. I hand him the hundred gold for it and go. No, no, I'll just hang on. Okay, it's yours. Thank you. <laughs> if I can't figure out a use for it, I know somebody who might like it. Okay. Anyone else? Bottle of darkness. Mm-hmm. I'm uh I'm looking at a wall of junk, um and I pick out uh something that looks like a dart for a dartboard and I said oh hi is uh is there like a dartboard that goes with this or what does this do it says tavern it, it, dart it's a tavern yeah tavern dart you throw it you you throw it at a tavern no you throw it's it like, at a does it blank. make it really good 
throw it somewhere where there's not a lot of people where there's no people around and like open space and it'll make an actual tavern for you for a night. I need it. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I, I, it's I run... wherever we go. <laughs> no, I, I run over to Gilly. Is it a one-off? Does the tavern stay? Can we like redart the tavern? You know what? I will let you redart the tavern. Just because of that reaction, you have a Doesn't you have a stay. pocket tavern. <laughs> we have a pocket tavern. <laughs> we have a pocket tavern. Amazing. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> we'll have to find somebody who will come with us who's proficient with uh, some sort of brewery supplies. Hey, this, this is the tavern that. Is downstairs from Damascus's room in the magic house. That could I be cool. If it is. <laughs> what if they're connected? It I mean, it'll we look like. It I don't know what it'll look like, but it'll come with patrons. Like people will be in there. There will be drinks, food, anything you need. It'll be there. Um, I can imagine the best day in my life. He turns. He goes to, to Damascus. Could you imagine if you're damn pop that thing, and then the first thing you do is walk down a flight of stairs just to be home. That'd be a right <laughs> sucker punch at that point, wouldn't it? I mean, it's definitely going to be the first thing I try now. <laughs> Find stairs and head on up. See if I get back to my room. I suppose that's a good point. Very convenient. Um, and as Varian like, runs over and starts geeking out with Gilly over this dart, um, he, he kind of like is looking at the pile of junk, this wall of junk that Gilly was looking at, and he, you know, notices a couple of like odd figurines, and he's just sort of like lackadaisically, you know, writing them and repositioning them so they like look a little bit like better on the shelf. And he sarcastically goes over to his shoulder to the old man. He goes, "You're welcome for giving me a sense of style on this damn thing." And then his hand kind of like trails along something, and his whole left arm just goes into shivers as his fingers run across it. And he goes, "Okay, that was." All right. Um, Find it again. This one, and like he touches it and picks it up, and he sees this rather mundane-looking, um, it almost rough ironwork. Like it looks a little corroded and 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 rust-worn in certain places, but but like a key. And he goes, "No, I know this wall is full of." You know, junk to the layman there, uh, sir. Um, trinkets. We prefer trinkets. Trinkets. But you got any reason that this corroded piece of junk, uh, sorry, tr this corroded piece of trinket, um, would be giving me tingles up the arm? What's what? What is this thing? I mean, a key made out of some sort of meteorite. So keep it. Calling this a star metal key. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We I don't know what type of metal that is. Calling it a rusted key. If it gives you the tingles, man, it gives you the tingles. It means it's meant for you. I'm just, just saying it's uh got this little doohickey here. It says about 75 gold pieces. Um mm -hmm. just thinking if it's rusted and it doesn't really I don't really have it to go with anything, but Maybe it's worth like, you know, 60 gold instead of 75. It's kind of. But you just said it gave you the tingles. Why would I lower my price? No, I never said it gave me the tingles. I described mm. as a player that I felt the tingles. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Might be bad. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Uh, you going, you want to roll persuasion for me? I'd love to. Thank you. Uh, 19. 19 is good. He's like, yeah, all right, fine. Just take it. Well, just take it. It's free. No, pay the money first. <laughs> yeah, that was so close. All right. Uh, all right. I'll <laughs> pay the 60. Thank you, Jess. Um, I'm definitely pocketing uh, Star Metal Key on brand for a rev later. Damascus, um, as this is going on, is leafing through just some random papers, seeing if there's any cool stories or books or anything, and he finds a Bunch of maps that lead to somewhere. Um, it looks like they kind of show a path to some 
uh, not a path necessarily, but like they show the location of some old ruins or something. As you're looking through them, those they're um. What in the hell? It's like some of them overlay with other pieces of paper in that book. They're these weird sorts of lines. You can tell that some of the like you're not. It's a puzzle that you're gonna have to put together, right? Uh, he goes, yeah, I think it's a map to some sort of runes, but no one's ever followed it up. I mean, happy to take them off your hands if they're just wasting space. Sure. For how much did I say that was? <laughs> 75 gold. For 75 gold. Yeah, he's not going to haggle on that. No, okay. Not you, of all one. people, would be able to haggle, out haggle anyone. I know, but do I want to haggle on every? Oh, you're right, I'll say I mean, he just specified that they're basically garbage. I mean, 75 gold for some maps that no one knows what they lead to. That's a little steep, don't you think? That's like a month's worth of drinking, or like two real good naps. You drink 75 gold worth of alcohol in a night. How are you still I said standing? A month. <laughs> you or said or a real, real good, good night. night. <laughs> or two real good nights. All two right. real good nights. How are you still standing? <laughs> well, I wouldn't be drinking it all alone. That's what makes it a real good night. Yeah, intimidation check. You get a smash <laughs> from Faza. Ow, who did you think I met? Who are you drinking with? You, darling. I don't drink like that. <laughs> Not yet. I turn back to the guy. I'll give you, call it fifty. You want to roll persuasion? <laughs> I always want to roll persuasion. Um, oh no, I rolled a three, so that's uh twenty-three. Fuck you. Fine, take it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, to me. <laughs> He's a commoner. There's nothing that can be done here. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, did you guys want to go to the weapon and armor store? I don't think anyone had anything there. Um, I didn't, okay. but I do now. Okay, sure. Um, you guys head to uh the Pleasant Missile, which from the outside looks very dire. It's cheerless and dark. The outer structure is built is a building made of mostly timber. The doors are made of this like. Uh, really thick stone. Um, it's also like on the on the ground. Like you have to go to the ground for this. Um, it has no handle, but it has a partially like melted and deformed kind of just uh, like place for you to put your fingers to pull open the door. <laughs> um, there are thin vines that are tangled all around the tree at the bottom. And the inside is made of a very soft moss. Uh, inside is an old, we're talking maybe uh, 60-ish, female half-elf um, with very long, wavy red hair and, and gray eyes. She has smooth uh, brown skin and is about five foot five, very athletic looking. Nice, like, jagged scar all down one arm. And she sees you. Morning. Afternoon. Hard to tell what time it is with the canopy overhead. I mean, good day works just as well. Fair enough. I poke my head around. I, I will eventually stumble across a wand of magic missiles. Okay. And just pick up. Ooh. It's just like a bunch of blasters all at once. It is, yeah. I can see that coming in handy. I'll take one. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, don't point that at anyone unless you mean it. Okay there, <laughs> champ? I mean, I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> don't worry. She looks you up and down for a second. <laughs> okay. Uh, I yeah, that's it. I want to buy a wand of magic missiles. 
Sure, you totally do. She gives it to you, but as she goes to give it to you, there's a moment where she holds it back and she's like, am I doing the world a favor right now? (laughs) Fuck it. (laughs) And then hands it over. (laughs) Will this be my legacy? Yeah. Head over to a rev. Can you believe they gave this to me without like screening or background check or anything? (laughs) Amazing. I'm just saying, the the restrictions are, they're mad over here. It's absolutely (laughs) mad. <laughs> Gotta have some common sense laws. Oh, you can't run. Um, but for now, I'll take advantage while I can. I'll <laughs> stick it in my pocket. No, <laughs> never stick a wand in your pocket. Um, it's fine. A, a um, loaded wand in your a pocket. A loaded then? wand. Pretty sure the safety's like on. Facing downwards, <laughs> right towards his fine. balls. <laughs> <laughs> fine. I take it out. I stick it in the back of my. <laughs> okay, blow your butt off. That's fine too. <laughs> Um, he always wanted a flat ass. <laughs> he has a flat ass. Come on. Um, <laughs> the mask is never. Never. Uh, you guys continue on your way uh, back up through the trees about mid level. You go to the Far Magicians, which is just above the old vial. One second. One second. Pause that. Uh, I'll continue. I'll continue explaining it. But the farmer Jason's from the outside looks very folksy. Um, it's welcoming and humble. There, the door is made of finely crafted wood, um, and it has a double-sided uh, wooden bolt with a key lock. The tree is carved like there's a tree that's carved in it um, as like decoration. Inside is uh, um, a male elf. He looks. I mean, like every elf, very young so far. You aren't sure how old he is. Um, cropped, curly brown hair, brown eyes. He's tall, he's skinny, very willowy, has a diamond face uh, face shape. You walk in and he's like, are you okay? <laughs> Most people who come here are in need of some sort of healing. Because there's a table to the side that has like where a doctor would be, so he heals ailments and stuff here as well as sells his potions. Useful. Though my no baby... one is bleeding, no one is sick. I'm confused. This is more of a planning ahead, be prepared prepared sort of visit. We ain't bleeding okay. at the moment, but So we're walking lives... into dumb things. Got it. Children. But we plan to bleed. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. We plan to bleed. Okay, well, you're in the right place. Uh, and he shows you to a shelf <laughs> where there's a whole bunch of healing potions, like a healer's kits, some berries, which um, at the berries, Faza immediately goes over and he's like, oh my god, these are cool. And starts reading the little note pat, the note there. You, what about you, you guys? Get yourself some if you want. Yeah, I'm going to. I have money. Uh, you do. Yes. Uh, but would oh, no. know him? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, honestly, probably you've probably been patched up by him quite a few times. He's watching you as you're walking around, just like something's off. Let's be true. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> and I kind of look at him, and what 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 what's his name? <laughs> his name is uh, Peyton. Peyton. And, like, Varian's not stupid. Like, he's, like, you know, walking around and perusing and kind of looking over his shoulder. And then he go- He looks over and he goes, Okay, you caught me, Peyton. It's-, it's a bit of a long story, but if you're going to stand there and stare at me, I could try and sum it up for you. Go ahead. So obviously, you you know the the young knight who's who's standing here in his in his fine boots. Um, you ever hear tale of a adventurer that went off on their way and encountered a uh, magical item that uh, perhaps was cursed. So you're cursed. No, I just wanted to see if you understood the reference. Uh, he's not cursed, but much like that, he's uh, been blessed 
uh, with my presence in his body occasionally. It's nice to meet you. My name's Varian. Um, he, he'd love to see you, Peyton. In fact, I'm, I'm sure he's probably saying nice things in the back of my mind about you right now. Um, Peyton is at this point walking over to you, uh, casts light on a wand, and then like opens one of your eyes to like shine the light in it, and just like starting to like uh, just. Oh, Cora, that's bright. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's almost like it's shaped like a ring and it's right in my eye. How did you do that? It's like a ring light. Ah. Ah. Well, it would be the wand that it is cast on. And you look and the wand is actually shaped with a little ring light esque <laughs> thing at the end. It's got a um, ring light wand? I want one of them. You're right. Uh, he, he starts like checking out your reflexes, doing like, are you sure? Sh- okay. I think that maybe, maybe you should probably go and see your aunt. Okay, uh, so um, a Rev's aunt is the eldest ah. druid, and no, we're still not getting there. So I didn't want to, like, you know, say I was outright avoiding that meeting, but... um. It's just it's just a wee bit awkward because you see, um, actually, and like I I like look around the shop and I look to see if he, uh, Peyton had a chair somewhere. Yeah, there's a chair. There's definitely a chair. There's there's like a a bunch of them. And and I go grab the chair and and I pull it back and I go, Peyton, you might want to sit. Honestly, I kind of feel like you're the one who needs to sit. Oh no, no, no! I'm f- I'm fine. Um, I've I'm quite used what to it honestly you at this give point. Him? Um, <laughs> don't be blaming me. This is all him. I mean, Damascus. Let's be honest. You load me up with shit whenever you can, but right now I'm fine. You do Just what? Take out my alchemy jug. Most of the time, it's this like creamy white stuff. I think he calls it mayonnaise. I I I can't <laughs> quite. <laughs> I was not there. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I'm never quite sure what, what he called this. It. It's not from my time. Um, it's weird how he says it with his voice. It's got a, an inflection I can't quite catch. Um, it's called mayo. It ain't mayonnaise. It ain't fancy. It's just eggs. and I don't actually know what's in mayonnaise. Me, Daniel, as a person. <laughs> <laughs> eggs and oil and it. vinegar. Gross. Yep. Primarily. Oh my god, Daniel, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> um So Peyton. Um Arev's um he's he's a, he's a nice young boy. He you've seen him grow up around here. Um uh I might have known your great 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 grand parent. Uh-huh. As he gets back up from the chair and starts going over to his cupboards where he's taking out things. <laughs> no, no, I don't need uh-huh. to be fixed. I am fine. It's I'm not. You a don't rep- seem I'm, fine. I'm, I'm just saying, the boy wasn't crazy. You know how he used to run around asking people where the stars were. Maybe he wasn't crazy, but he seems like it now. <laughs> <laughs> are are there like? Uh, is there like a collection of like greater healing potions near me, maybe in a box? On the shelves, there are greater healing potions. There's like supreme healing potions, a whole bunch. He he makes them and just has them for people ready. Cool. So. Uh, while he's like pulling things out, I'm literally just gonna palm five greater healing potions as fast <laughs> as I can into my bag of holding. Slap five hundred gold down. And go turn to Ma- turn to Damascus. Go. I didn't sign up to be a science experiment. I'm sorry, I gotta go. And like, please. Hang on, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he, he follows you out the door. You're you're running down like a, a bridge, and he's just he looks back at the rest of the party and is like, uh It's he'll be fine. We're actually we will be going to see the Elder Druid at some point. We just got into town. It's on the list. 
we got a lot of things to take care of. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Great, I'll I'll go ahead and uh, let her know you're coming. No, no um, need to do that. No, no, but, I think I think yeah. that's a good idea. I definitely think that that's a good idea. I should let her know what's going on here. Uh, see you. Yeah, she'll see you there. Yep. And then he, you see him go and close up shop for a little bit. Great, Wait, good. I wanted to buy things. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. What what is the key? He opens the door. Faiza gets her berries. Uh, I want to buy five. Or hang on, I want to buy three he- three greater healing potions, and I want Faiza to buy five, if I can buy things for her. Okay, sure. We will we will stack up on healing potions. That's, yeah, always good to have. The good to yeah, have. One hundred percent. Just uh, keep your notes. We'll take it all on off at the yeah. end. Um, um, and then he, when you're done, he's like, "Thank you for your business." As he's locking up, listen, like be- before you before you lock up, listen. Uh, it's a bit of a long story, but we actually are planning a surprise for the Elder Druid, and part of that surprise is making sure she don't know that a Rev is back in town. Uh-huh. It's kind of like a, a celebration type thing for it. It's a long story. It, Anyways, so my the- uh, my oath to my patients is definitely a lot more important than a surprise party. I'm going to be going and telling her that you're on your way and if not to expect to find you because that's not right i mean a rev did buy some healing potions from you Mm -hmm. and if he takes it then he would be one of your patients as well a rev has always been one of my patients so wouldn't there isn't there like a some sort of confidentiality clause where you're not supposed to be sharing. Uh, the, yeah, we don't uh, let crazy people just run around the city. So crazy's a harsh term. Yeah, I'm sorry. The boy left as a noble knight and came back as someone with a Lilton accent. People pick up accents right, who just so tried good. to steal from me. So, like, I wouldn't have seen. He left us. money. Yeah, not nearly enough. Now, <laughs> I left five hundred gold. I didn't take you said a whole bunch. No, I took five greater. He- I scooped five greater healing potions into a bag, slapped down the five hundred gold, which is <laughs> the price of them, and then ran. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and uh, yeah, you should go. All right. <laughs> uh. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh my god! I forgot that he would know so many people here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, a bit awkward. Do you want to go to Nomi me. Tech? <laughs> yes. Uh, chasing after a, a Varian who has taken off, you eventually get to uh, Ironclad Electronics, which is uh, from the outside very folksy, very homey, very inviting. Uh, like most stores in Thawne, it has been made into a giant hollow tree. Um, the door is made out of adamantine. Uh, it has these level a leather handle to it, <laughs> leather, at least leather wrapped. Uh, and there's a robotic arm that extends out of the uh, tree that opens the door for customers Ooh. as you walk in. <laughs> Fancy. Inside is. A 92-year-old little female gnome that is about three feet tall and is the cutest thing that you have ever seen, but also is the, like, the type of cute that's, like, she's rocking a shaved head with these, like, with, like, uh, multiple piercings in her ears and stuff like that. Very tan. Awesome. Yeah. You You go in. She um, is covered in just different types of oil that she has been that she's been like wiped away multiple times. Uh, tools everywhere. She looks up. Uh huh. Hi. Just how you doing? I'm fine. I am fine. I am. This is not going to blow up. It's cool. And then you see her pull a few things out of. Uh, out of a oh. <laughs> contraption in front of her. It's fine. And pull it to the side. I will Hi. take your word on that. Thanks out. What can I do for you? 
What are you looking for? What what can I do you need something that's do you need something fixed? Or uh, actually okay. you just said a real interesting word. And I pull out my bag of holding and I didn't even think this until right now. I pull out my bag of holding and start rifling through it. Put that in here somewhere. I'm positive. And I pull out my clockwork uh wings. Wow! These look like garbage. <laughs> they may be a little bit exploded. Well, you don't, don't say something... you don't say a little bit as she starts immediately ripping them apart. And, uh, we what... haven't we, we we haven't come to terms on on our uh -huh. that. Yeah, do you want them back? Rip. Not at all. Do you think you can get them in working condition? That would be fantastic. I can get them in I can I can make a new set with these with parts of these pieces. I wouldn't say no. A better set that doesn't explode on you. Even better. How long do you think that'll take you? A couple days, at least. There's a lot yeah. of junk here. So much of it is melted. Like I said, it got a little exploded. A little. It was, it was very functional while it worked. Yeah, if you buy yeah. these at the mountain... The hub? How'd you know? Yeah. Okay, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. <laughs> At least you're not dead. He gives it to her. How much are we talking to get them back up and running? Um, maybe 500 gold. A little I more, depending on how much, how much I have to replace. I, I can, can let you that. know when you come back. Sounds good to me. You sure? I'm sure. I'll leave him with her. Appreciate she takes you looking at Wait, them. wait, your name. Damascus. Still she there. writes Damascus on a piece of paper and just drops it on the pile. Hell of a system you got there. It works for me. It kind of reminds me of my writing desk back, back, back home. Creative types, right? We think we think well alike. Um that's all I'm doing here that now, I guess. I was gonna buy a, a escape balloon, but if I can get my wings working, I'd rather have that. She'll start with that. And as as you're like you're like, you know, the creative type, there's like a little explosion in the back room, and she's like, I have to go. Um shit. And then turns around and just takes off. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, a, she seems fun she seems real talented really hope these aren't gonna explode on me again <laughs> uh do you want to go to the staff store next yes okay so very high up high off the ground near the top of thon's canopy is a is the staff store uh leaf it to me uh, the front doors are large carved wooden uh, doors that, and the interior is like well lit. Uh, the, there are, sorry, I'm reading like eight different things. Hang on. The uh, well lit by glowing gemstones set into the ceiling. Uh, the staffs are displayed on mantles and are mounted into the walls for each customer to peruse. Um, there's a uh, red tiefling sitting in an armchair just sort of chilling reading a book she has long straight black hair red eyes just uh she sees you come in and she looks at you just kind of just gives you the look around and then goes back to reading her book i was thinking i might have had a slightly more dramatic entrance than just walking in because i was running <laughs> Leaving yeah. the last shop. So you you burst through the doors. I feel like I burst through the doors, and because it's so well kept, I'm not expecting that the 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 floors are so clean. So I actually start to skid, and as I she looks up from her book, and I make eye contact with her, I go to kind of go like, but like lose my balance, and like before I talk, just crash into the wall. 
where I knock loose several stabs that just tumble onto the ground and pelt me over the back of the head. And in doing so, because uh, I'm conf confuzzled and I'm like, I, I'm not sure I even know really what just happened because I crashed into the wall. But I swear to Beloth that one of the stabs pelted the ground and made literally no noise. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm looking at it and I'm going, no, that can't be right. That was, I, one of these must have hit my head. Um, and he like looks from the floor over to the patron and he goes, it looks like quite a few hit your head as she grabs her own stuff and stands up. Does she know a ref? That's a key question. <laughs> does she know a ref? Um, uh, she does not know. This one does uh, not know you. Whew, finally. Uh, and he kind of looks at her and goes, you know, I, I'm terribly sorry about the, 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 the whole business. I, you keep your floors remarkably clean. Uh, it's actually um, the whole shelf is quite, quite a wonder. You do a fantastic job. Why was that thing quiet? She takes a minute, she looks at you, she looks at the staff, she looks at you, and she goes, For a, a night of Raya, I expect you to have a little more grace. First you pick up the staffs, you put them back, and then, then I will, I will tell you about the staff of silence. I, I like, you get a look, whack with her staff. I, 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 like, get up to do it, but, like, I'm, like, looking down at my body and looking back up and looking around, and I'm, like, wondering whether I have the crest of Rhea on me somewhere. I mean, a rev usually travels in his night gear, right? So. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so she would have probably just, like, recognized the, the local armor. And he goes, of course, of course, uh, not a problem. Um, just give me one moment. Um, I'll write this mistake and... Two shakes of a hand. Actually, it might be one and a half shakes. I have an extra hand. And the mage hand pops up. And so the three hands just go start putting, putting things back, back together. But I don't touch the quiet one. I leave that one. I like keep giving it a side eye. I just, I'm like positive as I keep putting these stabs back that I'm like going to turn around and it's going to not be there. So I'm like putting them back slowly, you know, like checking, looking at the tags doing a really good job. I even, like, dust some off as I'm doing so and, like, really take care and, like, help set set that back up. But then I put my back to the wall and I go... The staff is gone. You're right there. So there was... It's here, you twit. And she points on the... On, on, <laughs> Yeah, the counter. Does this always do that? Does it just go from one place to another place? Is no, I I picked it up. Is it, is it haunted? You can tell <laughs> me. No, what's haunted? My existence. <laughs> I fucking lost Carol there. Don't worry. <laughs> I promise. While I have that effect on most people, it tends to vanish. Once I also vanish. I can understand that, Boyo. But why is it so cold? <laughs> because it's a staff of silence. Oh, yeah, that would do it. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Can I have it? I mean, I'll pay you for it. I just, I, I, I want to freak out a certain bard friend of mine. 400 gold. That would do it. I'm down. And he pulls up <laughs> the 400 gold and uh, absolutely uh, if I'm correct, Miss DM, it is a plus one it staff is. of silence? It is, yes. Perfect. Uh, I would I would love that. I'm uh, I'm going uh, to pay 400 gold for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all yours. Um, plus one, yep. Um, is that everything? Uh, yes. Uh, and I pick it up not that she'd notice unless she was watching. Uh, <laughs> she's and, watching you. She's look. She's giving you the the side eye. Oh, I just mean that, like, because it makes no noise, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, I say, uh, if you ever need uh, any help from the Knights of Rhea, uh, a second time, you know, somebody charges in like a bull to wreck up your shop a uh, uh, another time. Um, just 
Contact the Knights of Rhea. They're a bunch of good. Okay, there, folks. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say chaps and ladies, but I'm gonna say folks. It's you know more inclusive. Do PR for the Knights of Rhea. <laughs> letting on old type this this time. We always huh? always clean up our messes. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> You can go. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my stuff? As you guys <clears throat> finally get to where to uh the staff store, that's when um that's when uh Varian exits. That's so are Varian. we good here? Or do we we gonna like go shopping together or are you gonna run away again? That's a very good question. Now, is, is that old fart actually following you, or like, uh, am I safe? No, I you think he's going to get tattle to your aunt. Yeah. Did what I could oh. to try and convince him not to, but it seemed Fox amenable safe. to changing his mind. I would just like to say that I think Faza could have done more. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> And it ain't surprising that people are going to recognize you around here. <clears throat> Word's going to get back to your grandmother eventually. Your aunt, your uh, your family, whoever's The eldest you. druid. That's the one. The old, older druid. I mean, I suppose we could have just figured this always would have happened the second that I showed up instead of him, eh? Gonna We're probably okay. going to have to pay her a visit. Oh, I think she's going to be paying us a visit. It was on the list anyways, so nothing's really changed. You'll just have to do slightly less explaining it the beginning part. We could, we could, after we're done shopping, we could try and, like, I could try and help you. I don't know. I'm pretty decent with, like, mine stuff. Maybe we can get a rev out. I think that would be Congrats. helpful. As much as we love having you around, Varian. No, I understand. Right now it's a bit of a bit of a headache for the lot of you, so Or you but could just go and say hi. Ain't that works too. About if you want to go and say hello when you, as you are. I'm fine with that. Since it's already gonna get to her, it's not like you're gonna hide it. Unless we want to gaslight the pharmacist. <laughs> we could do it. You're devious. <laughs> I mean, I could always try to put on my best red voice. I, I think I mastered the... Damascus, I kind of almost fooled you the last time, didn't I? No. <laughs> not really. No, you sure? Wait, no, let, let me try again. I swear... This time, I swear I'm gonna get this. And so, uh, hang on. Um, so first, I gotta gotta slow down the speech, kind of like he does. He's very self-important and likes to talk very slow. Um, well, here we go. And then you, you got He's a, he's not much of a hey sort of fellow the way that I am. So he's more of a hey ho ha hu, her her. I <laughs> sound like a cat. <laughs> 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 uh, you know what? Fuck it. That is full winter when you do that. <laughs> he's, he's just like, he's just like, <laughs> the, the variant shoots him a look. He goes, Do you mind? I'm trying to find his voice. <laughs> okay, there, pirate. Keep searching because that definitely weren't it. <clears throat> <laughs> you sound like you smoke 20 packs a day. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Maybe back in my time, but still, give me a break. <laughs> it's like a red but mixed with the sea captain <laughs> <clears throat> you don't think I like this and Varian like does one of these and then you know it is possible that Maybe if they aren't paying attention, they might think that I'm him. Okay, we so... could say he has a cold. 
that could work. Except, you know, you have someone tattling on you right now. He has a cold. He forgot all of his druid magic. And the pharmacist is crazy. How did he forget his druid magic? Yeah, that's the trickier part. Hit his head. I think okay. it's pro- it, how old is is this eldest druid? No, almost seven thousand years Sorry. old. Oh, I, I, I oh, you're you're okay. Yeah, yeah. Asking. Sorry, me bad. That's fine. Something tells me that you don't get to be the ruler of a well-known group of quite wise people without being fairly insightful and being able to smell bullshit a mile away even if you weren't literally old enough to be almost all of our great grandmothers hey Damascus can you do me a small favor depends on what it is Oh, well, mostly I'm just really interested in that bright colorful bird that's right behind you do you actually know what type of bird that is <laughs> I will just be like, I mean, you're the just beautiful song, right? As I turn around, this, so the, beautiful. The second he turns, I'm swinging my quarter staff of silence just to tap him on the back. <laughs> Quiet. Nothing. Nothing. You wouldn't hear it coming. You'd be looking at the bird, and so, um, what? What's your AC? Twenty one. <laughs> Wait, hang on. What is this too? Hang on. So uh, you need to do a wisdom saving throw too. Okay. So yeah. It's I'll, a, it's I'll a give you advantage on that because he turned around. I, I got exactly 21. I got a oh, 15 perfect. plus five with a quarter staff, but plus one because it's the quarter staff of silence plus one. So I got exactly a 21. Um and Can you make a spell saving throw? Yes, against oh, my D sure. Wisdom. Uh, against my DC, which is 17. Sorry, and violence is not the answer. 11. <laughs> so, it, it's, it wasn't meant to be violent. It was just meant to be like a playful, like, tap on the shoulder uh, to give him the silence effect. <laughs> Yo. Because and now of, he is quiet. Uh, and I could use that up to five times per day, because charisma is my spellcasting modifier. <laughs> um, oh my god. Oh, that's a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there going off at you. And Varian walks around and he just gives him a sheepish grin. And then the mage hand kind of waves and then beckons. <laughs> and then he runs. <laughs> no, we lost him again. Oh, no. Wow. Sorry, I guess I can't hear you. Doesn't have anything interesting to say or important. <laughs> oh, man. Can it's I try and throw an now. apple at him? As he's <laughs> you away? can, yeah. You can make it make it a range spell uh range range attack. Uh yeah. You do not have proficiency in throwing apples. I don't. So it's just dexterity? 15. Yep. A 15? 15. Uh would hit because Varian's <laughs> AC because <laughs> Varian's AC is hot trash. <laughs> um, can you make me a dexterity saving throw, Varian? Oh yeah. As... Oh, uh, that's a nat 20, actually. Okay. So, <laughs> as so you get 21 total. As you get uh, an apple to the back of the head, you careen forward for a moment, and you guys are high in the sky. You're on treetop. You're on the treetops. So, Varian takes a moment where he begins to careen over one of the bridges, but being Varian, just kind of does a quick little dance and is back on his feet. Good to go. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, Apple a day almost brought a doctor doctor to me today. <laughs> and I can't hear you. Um it, that being said, at this point, if you'll allow it, um I'll snap my fingers and end the silence effect. Oh no. Why would you do that? I should you bastard <laughs> bad you make him. Oh, I'm I'm back. Did it's you just, just testing give up it. On words. 
clearly it works. Do you notice it makes no sound? I think that's quite neat. It also, like, it, it makes no sound, but it also, you know, makes no sound. It That's a complicated thing to try and get across. I noticed. Helps you remember what stiff's for. It's true. Don't get it confused with the other stiffs. Winter Winter walks up to you and puts an arm around your, your shoulders, just like, really like, just like, you, I think you made him mad. <laughs> and you like made him mad. The mask has to be mad. Oh, it's never. Oh, <laughs> hi, Winter. Trying to silence me. He Big continues things. walking. Mascus is just grumbling under his breath. You're Nobody okay. He was just. He was just. It was just a prank. You're rude fine. Okay. That's, that's the worst thing that Damascus can be is so silence. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> How dare you? I'm gonna need you to put your big boy pants on. I'm gonna turn okay. Into a squirrel. I'm just gonna turn into a squirrel. Problem solved. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good boy. Good job, Damascus. Very, very just quickly goes, I didn't try, I actually did it. <laughs> I cast Polymorph and turn him into a squirrel. <laughs> What's the save for that? Uh, 18 wisdom. Oh god, I'm definitely gonna throw And that. you know what? I'm gonna throw a Bardic Inspiration, so he has to uh, take away a d8 from that as well. <laughs> oh, you squirreling. Uh, I rolled an 8 for the D8 you have to take away. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I rolled a 16. Uh, or I rolled a 14 plus my 2 wisdom save, so 16. And I think Winter loves me enough to... who, like, is close to me still that I have a 21, but with a minus 8, there's no way. Mm-hmm. So I just... <laughs> He's a cute squirrel, at least. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Actually, I think that's kind of a chipmunk. Is that chipmunk? I'm pretty sure that's a chipmunk. Well, I wanted to turn it's... him into a baby squirrel, so yeah. No, it's a mask. It's how many times do I have to do this? Baby squirrel. Chipmunks, chipmunks and squirrels are different. Yeah, chipmunk <laughs> is a baby, and then it grows up and it turns into a squirrel. I, no. I literally, my tail it's just like... a like... tadpole and a frog. Exactly. Um, it's, my you can my tail just and frogs are different. comes up to my face. I'm literally just like careening into my bushy little tail and just... <laughs> Beza picks you up. It just puts you on her shoulder. There, there. I immediately belly out and just like sit there slumped over her shoulder and go. Hey, but he is a cute chipmunk. Much cuter that way. Is this going to be harder or easier to explain to the eldest road? It doesn't last that long. (laughs) Um, Turn it off by the time we get there. we done shopping. Let me take that back. Chipmunks are not baby <laughs> squirrels. <laughs> uh, you guys wanted to go to Cloak's Minded. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was. I pretended that I got a healer's kit at the pharmacist. That's cool. Yeah. One hundred percent. Um, you guys head to Close Minded. Close Minded. It's a clothing store that's four stories off the jungle floor. Uh. Uh, thick, large vines have been striped or striped along the outside of the store. Um, the door is made of a hefty oak, and it has iron bars at uh, iron bars that kind of go down the middle of the oak, so that it's decoration. Um, when we get there, I will turn to Faza and the squirrel on her shoulder, and just. Kind of scruff him, pick him up by the scruff of his neck. Just <laughs> hold him up, and I'll let the spell end so that I'm like holding a rev or Varian by the back of the neck. Okay, cool. Uh, Don't you go inside. Hit me with your stick anymore. Or at today. least ask permission next time. Don't hit him with your stick anymore today. But, no. Today. Wait. What? It was Don't really funny. Ideas. <laughs> it was really it was funny. really funny when I, I really enjoyed it, and I'm okay with you doing that again. Um, as his handler, I think that <laughs> my okay is good enough. My handler, she can read my mind, right? Yeah. 
Oh, no. In my mind, uh -huh. I'm going to say to Faiza, don't worry, love. Only time I expect to see him speechless next is uh, when we hear the wedding bells for the two of you. <laughs> and he'll stop. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to get this start, okay? <laughs> um... So inside the store is a, it's a tiefling seamstress. She's tall. She's about six feet tall uh, with uh, shoulder length, straight pink hair and amber eyes. She, how are you? When you walk in. Howdy. I immediately spot some very fancy shoes, boots. Yes. Oh, you want the the boots of boots striding, of striding and, springing? and springing? Yeah. Ooh, those are nice. Ooh, Damascus does match your whole outfit. That, I it was pulls the whole the look thing. together. Shoes make a shoes make an outfit, and I've been walking around on these for a while, and they are well getting a little worn out, frankly. I will take. Boots. <laughs> Try them on. She's just watching oh. you do this, like, uh huh. Then my looking at your shoes, like, nah, they're fine. They're not that bad. Damascus is is pampered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it means they've they've done like one trip somewhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're the same boots I've been wearing this whole time. Yeah, so, this whole time. The last few months. Dusty. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Is that is that what is that what everyone else wants here? You're good to go. Oh, I think I had I had something. Wait, guys, guys, I think I need a, a new look. I think this is this is my, oh my like God, sea yes. wear. So I need some like land wear. Uh yeah. you guys watch me try on some stuff and see what looks good, okay? Fashion Just show! Tell me, tell me what you think. Yes. Then they do a fashion show montage. Where you I, montage. Play, I, out of I take out my loot and I start playing fashion <laughs> oh gosh, fashion yes. montage. Make Girl, Jesus makeover. grabs random things to like put in the 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 oh my god I lost it the place to try stuff on dressing room that. danger room yeah that one yeah. I lost my words there <laughs> yes yeah, the dressing room for you yeah please help me pick out stuff what do you think can I pull off uh, uh, I've I can't think of any items of clothing now. <laughs> <laughs> she comes out. She's got like this like vest for you to try on to put on over your stuff. It's uh, you're uh, right. I'm not a I'm not a hit person. Let's try this vest. <laughs> she comes back. She's got a freaking cowboy hat for you to try on at some point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we considered the cowboy hat very carefully, but we landed on the vest. We oh on yes. The vest. No, you're trying everything on now. Uh, I feel like this looks great. Uh, the vest that you are wearing, it's its silky. It's got this, like, really soft material. It just, you know, gently hung, hugs your every, like, every muscle, every curve perfectly. Um, what do you think you're feeling right now as you try this on and you look at yourself in a mirror? How hot is the storekeeper? She is That'll very good looking. That'll affect things. She's okay. very good looking. Nervous. Nervous. <laughs> so with nervous, I'd say maybe what, like anticipation-ish. So you'd be, the vest begins, right. starts to turn orange. Oh, uh, this is a, oh, it's a color changing vest. Nice. <laughs> you get excited and it starts to turn yellow. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, I need this vest. This is great. <laughs> Changes however you want it to. That's real handy to have. Yeah, can I think pink thoughts? Think pink thoughts. No, <laughs> like, it doesn't change the one thoughts. color that's not on Ooh. here. <laughs> pink is not a color on there. That's wild. It's not well, awesome. we didn't know how it worked anyway, so it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> I love it. We'll have to add pink at some point. Yeah. What, yeah. Well, what, you can you can create your own little list of whatever. Yeah. That's uh, true. Do I get told what the vest does, or do I have to figure it out as I go on? You do. You do. Here, I will post it for you. And oh, she, I know what it does. Oh, I'm you just do. Okay. Yeah. Know what it oh, one hundred percent. There's like inside. Right. There's like a little 
on the back there's like a little uh a guide yeah a guide that like has all the colors that show up and all of that and she's like oh that's a it's a good choice you look Let's really see. nice in that yeah it immediately turns green Thank you. Uh, th thank you so much. Uh, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you, when it turns green, she goes, oh, I'm, so I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten that, you. Uh, that, not related. It's, I just, I, I like the color green. It's, uh, oh, yeah. Um, okay. Well, just so you're aware, if you wear that, everyone will know what you're feeling because. Wait, do, do people know? <laughs> Yeah, well, around here, this is kind of a thing that I like to make. It's just cute, I thought. Uh, it's like, you know, mood rings. But that's okay. It's fine. I'm sorry I scared you. <laughs> I'm reconsidering this purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the, an important thing to know about this is it does make me look more jacked. I yeah. look muscular and important. fit, which is yeah. so important. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, then Damascus will be like, I mean, you can't, now that you've tried it on, that it shows off the guns real well. You really can't. I look can't. like, like, it's, yeah, right? You can't not get it now. It's just. I gotta, okay, it's what do you, well. what do you think about the phrase, the vest stays on? No, no, no. Is that no. for like when you're having the, the, the <laughs> sex? I was just, do you think that, it's, <laughs> no, not. it's I certainly you. a style. If you want, but I feel like that's really weird. It's like with people. Uh, okay, okay. So no, it's honest. Just, just, just wondering. <laughs> it's good to have a perspective. Very, very <laughs> definitely has this to say. No, you're, you're, you're a regular human. It when did he do that? Part. Right before we came when in. When we came in, yeah. Oh, I missed that. I turned you oh, back because yeah, he was holding you by the scruff of the neck. Yeah, yeah, I, I scruffed you. But as a person. <laughs> and then I, I let the spell go. I thought you put me back down on her shoulder. So I've been a chipmunk this whole time in my head. <laughs> no! <laughs> you're a person again. Oh, chipmunk okay. in the shopping montage is delightful, to be fair. I, I literally, I thought you like put it up and then I just kind of like chattered at you and you're like, glared at me. You're like, fine. And put me back down. <laughs> and then I guess now-ish that you've accomplished what you were doing, like just, I'm um, just... Uh, I mean, that, that's what we did now. And I look at Gilly to go, to be honest, I've never seen a piece of clothing fit someone so nice as that one fits you. <clears throat> you did see my boots, right? <laughs> the boots are also excellent. Very functional. Thank you. I'm just saying those boots might be made for walking, but that vest, that vest stays on, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the best is on. He gets it. I don't know if he does. Um. <clears throat> uh. Anyways, <laughs> you pay for your first. Yeah. I, I had to. Sorry. I I will turn to the um the proprietor mm -hmm. and just be like, I mean. If I'm buying this fancy shoes and she's buying the, the vest, which, let's be honest, it stays on. Okay. You think maybe we can get a You sure I couldn't take discount? it off of you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, later tonight, or we could get a drink or something. The It's practically it's grow, glowing green right now. <laughs> it's just hair. <laughs> Okay. I feel like pink is embarrassment. It's, it's pink like... is yeah, it's just full pink. It's pink. Pink is embarrassment. It's like green and pink stripes. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah. Uh... Okie dokie. You may That's consider a... that a yes if you want to. <laughs> I can consider. I should I consider that a yes if I want to? <laughs> I can't tell. At... She was staying at the druid's oh, draw. Oh, oh, at the Druid's Drove? Okay. Um, well, my name's Exus. Um, and maybe I will see you later. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I, what? You could, you don't, 
I'm just saying, like, if you wanted, I could just like give you a little discount. And you could, it's like a hundred and fifty gold if you're interested, and 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 just. <clears throat> You just, yeah, sounds, uh, I just, you know, you just seem wonderful. really nice. Thank you. <laughs> just, and just... I didn't want to scare you. Uh, well, you can't really do anything about that, but I, I do appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Um. I'll, I. Uh. What's your name? Oh. Oh. Right. I'm. Uh. uh I'm Gilly. <laughs> okay. It's nice to meet you, Gilly. Oh, sweet too. It fits you really well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it stays on. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you uh continue on, guys? Yes. So. Oh uh, yes. Just. Out of get character out of quick discussion, should uh -huh. we get taps of water breathing, guys? Who can say? I don't need it. That's fair. Hey, James, should we get caps of water breathing? I mean, that could be helpful. I mean, depends on who's there. A rev can turn into a fish. <laughs> also, a point. Hey, Faza, should we get <laughs> <laughs> Well, Varian would still need it. I mean, it depends on the day. Um... I'm just I don't have a thing. Like... No, I have water walk. Never mind. Hmm. I can't help you. Just thinking that... Uh... Who knows? Maybe you will have that spell soon enough. This is true. <laughs> I can say, yeah, don't. Don't waste your money. Okay. Don't waste your money. She will eventually be able to have that spell. Fair enough. Then Perks of having a water genasi aboard. Uh... Yeah, uh, I think we will take our five minute break here, and then uh, come back and you can figure out what else you would like to do. <laughs> More chaos and shenanigans. Sounds fantastic. Now that I can no longer chirp like a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we'll see everybody in five. Hi, everybody. We are back from our break. Um, you guys have finished your shopping. What else would you like yeah. to do? There are gardens. You could you could meet your girl for a date, maybe. Who knows? Well, she's Let's... still working, so we better do gardens first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I will take Damascus will take Faisa by the hand, be like, why don't we go look at some pretty flowers? Okay, that sounds nice. I like flowers. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe we can come place. up. Sorry. Maybe. I was gonna say maybe I, I'll, I'm directing this part at Gilly. Maybe we can come up with some uh, ideas for date number two with your pretty shop girl. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves uh, <laughs> until we see how date number number one goes. But I appreciate Indeed. the confidence. Um, it is unfounded. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to do great. Trust yourself. <laughs> I'll be planning date two for date one, and be planning date four for date two. Could be fun. Manifesting. Is I like that it. what you do? Yeah. Just assume <laughs> everything's going to work out and uh, so far so good. Are you planning many more dates? Maybe. Why? You want me to take you somewhere nice? Always. Yes. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys head to the now. Florist Gump Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted. Don't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> These are all very good. Don't forget um, to have your waitresses. Or waiters. <laughs> Wait, staff. Uh, the garden is a paradise of vibrant shades of emerald and gold and ruby with a symphony of birds chirping and croaks from frogs settling in the pond. Uh, the neatly trimmed hedges... There are neatly trimmed he hedges, tall trees, and dainty shrubs that form a border around this luscious plot of grass, uh, with neat rows of wildflowers snuggling up to all the little, like all the thick tree roots um, in the ground. In the center are two wicker benches that uh, are currently uninhabited. So if you want to chill there, you can. A waterfall trickles down 
to the right side of the pond, um, giving you that soft uh, rush of wa water. Um, glowing fireflies flit around like tiny little fairies. And from within the foliage comes a gentle rustling sound. Uh, does anyone look around? Animal? Do you want to roll me perception? I'm on high alert for fuzzy creatures. 14 plus, shoot, let's move the weapon. Eh, eh, wrong. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it eventually. Blood day! My sheet will load eventually. Come on. I believe in you. <laughs> um. 20. Dirty 20. 20. Oh, really good. You Let's see. Find the creature. You see. Uh, they're called dancing foliage. And once they notice that you're um, looking at them, Gilly, they begin to sway and start to dance and perform. And they're, they come out of the, the trees and the shrubs around them. They're these humanoid shaped plants with two long legs um, and like four arms. They have vibrant petals for their head. And as soon as they see you, they begin to dance in pirouettes and kind of just, just flow around you in a performance. Guys, I found dancing plants. Check this out. This feels like a yeah. fey trap. But I guess we're I feel at, like, like a, a public patriot. garden, so it's probably okay. Yeah, it is a public garden. Um, uh, Varian and Arev would know that this is something that happens here. These are, they are called dancing foliage, and they get really excited when um, people come to see them because then they get to perform. Uh, they love couples, and they like to be mischievous and try and, like, set people up while people are here or, like, bump people together. Oh my god, Demetrius, that, like, Lisa, get over here. <laughs> What's going on? I what? What did you up. need? And as you guys show up, you guys are close together. The foliage get really excited and the, the petals begin to fall out and bloom more so that it's it's a full bloom of, of like, almost looks like a carnation. And, uh, and... They link arms and kind of go ring around the rosy around Damascus and Faza, getting closer together so that eventually Faza is in your arms and they mm -hmm. and they like dance for you. Can I catch a petal as it's falling? Or some? Yeah, you can catch a petal. And catch some petals. I like pop a couple into Faza's hair. You put a, like... a few in Faze's hair. You can see the one that you, the from the plant that you got, it seems to shudder with like, oh, cute. <laughs> I think we're making them happy, darling. <laughs> they, they like them. Okay, they're really cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Not quite as cute as you are, but. Okay, <laughs> stop. It's okay, stop. You don't have to be nice to me. Stop. <laughs> the chat, the uh, Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl song is currently playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kiss the girl. I Just so you know. a little kiss. She. I, I, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, and they like try and get you to dance with them for a little bit. Uh, it's it's really cute and just magical, magical time. Is there anything anyone wants dancing. to do while you're here? Face the dance with you. Um, I will. Gilly, date number two. Definitely the vap. I, like it. Been, I mean, if the date goes well tonight, maybe take her for a walk. I'm just saying. Hey. It's a great way to seal that first kiss. You don't want to make the plants mad. One of them pirouettes in front of Gilly and just like, ah. <laughs> Best wingman ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's their whole vibe. They just want to set people up. <laughs> That's adorable. Gilly's gonna just like touch every plant. Uh, you start. That's a care of like, thing. Just I just all like the touching other... plants, man. 
<laughs> you touch one of the dancers and they check it rush out. into you and I would probably try not to touch the sentient plants too much. <laughs> I don't know if they would like it. <laughs> You're in a druid city. Oh yeah. You're touching plants and there's some some of them even like nuzzle into you. Oh no. Never mind. I'm not touching plants anymore. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh man never like every druid here knows you don't gossip around the trees come on now Hmm. nosy little bitches yeah they spread rumors so fast uh (laughs) is there anything else anyone wants to do here or do you want to like retire to the to the tavern for the night hit the tavern i guess that's pretty much all i'm doing very oh no very has an idea. Yes, James. <laughs> so you're strolling through the garden, and all of the wonderful, loving stuff happens. Varian, at a very soft distance, is just looking at each and every tree in turn. <laughs> in the back <laughs> of your head, you you can feel Delicious. just somewhere in this. This forest, uh, Ray Bella has stopped and been like, "Be a friend to the trees, Damascus, or, <laughs> to be a friend to the trees, Varian." And he like squints and just like signs at each tree that he's watching them. <laughs> I think I've got to get him again. You. Can you roll me a religion check? Yeah, sure. It's ominous. It's good old. Plus one nine. Nine. Okay, nothing. You're good. Everything's fine. That's fine. not all this. What's the problem? Nothing can be going wrong. <laughs> That's all. He's just v- making sure that he's wary of the trees. The last tree you do this to actually goes like this back. <laughs> am am I intimidated? Rolls the dice. <laughs> Roll with disadvantage because yes. Am. Okay. <laughs> you were locked in a tree for fifty thousand years. <laughs> I mean, I I just rolled an uh like on the dice a fifteen and a sixteen with disadvantage. So I I feel like he's like unnerved, but manages to like keep his cool. It kind of goes. No, I would have done the same thing if I was the tree. So yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. Makes sense. Respect. Uh, and like for like one particular tree, his heart warms a little bit. Going <laughs> going like, ah, that tree's a mu- as much of a shit poster as I am. Uh winter I is that. by the <laughs> pond, good. like sitting on one of the benches by the pond, just kind of enjoying the the area. Faza and Damascus are dancing. Gilly is looking at the plants but not touching them because <laughs> mm-hmm. one of them one of them leaned into her her stroke. <laughs> Just a little too personified for Gilly. Gilly's gonna go hang out with Winter, maybe, after she's done investigating a little bit. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, you go to Winter. Uh, what do you do? Hey, uh, you a fan of plants? Mm, I mean, they're pretty. They're freaking me out, man. <laughs> These plants are weird. They just want to say hello. Hello. You, <laughs> one of the trees kind of brushes like its branches <laughs> in your way. Oh, no. <laughs> They're used to getting a lot of attention. Yeah, that makes sense, I suppose. Um, I have a date in like 30 minutes. You do. You gonna be okay? No! Absolutely not! Uh, I think she was pretty, right? She was very pretty, yeah. She seems I like maybe her hair. Like, like, too pretty, maybe? Too pretty for you, is what you're thinking yeah. here? Yeah, I don't like think a, so. I think that's okay. self-sabotage. I fair. My therapist says I should stop doing that. You're very pretty, Gilly. Oh, uh, thank you, Winter. You're welcome. And You're also pretty. Thank you. Yes, I was made yeah. by the <laughs> uh, the goddess of beauty. 
this okay all right then yeah oh yeah Rigged, you made but me okay don't know that yeah <laughs> I, yeah. I just kind of put back together and fixed up a bit. Right, all right, all right then. You gonna have be you okay? On, um, have you been on dates lately? I have been on a few dates with a certain yeah, with one of Damascus's friends. Are you good at you it? Up with my friend Zendra. I did hook beautiful. up with him. That was my first time, yep. Oh, okay. So you're not like an expert then. No, okay. no, not. I mean, you would probably not want that. To there's anything Damascus. wrong with it, you know? Yeah, I mean, Faisa seems pretty bad at him like a lot of the time lately. So I don't know. Yeah, he does put his foot <laughs> in his mouth a lot. Uh, but I think he's pretty decent at, at hitting on w- women. I think. I don't know. I am not the person to ask for this. I just I'm amazing at it. I okay. appreciate you <laughs> rolling me down there. I mean, you Maybe do I'll see just... how she immediately turns into mush every single time. Right? Like he compliments her, right? So That's shut true. the fuck yeah. up, Winter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do, and it's so cute. Shut She's up, real mushy. Maybe <laughs> no, right I'm now. not. <laughs> <sighs> I think I'll just. We'll just do it gilly style, I suppose. Oh, so you're going to have your vest turn green and then freeze? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Winter. That's the plan. <laughs> uh, well, if it helps, she seems to like you already, so maybe just try talking to her. I talk talking to, to her. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you. Maybe you could try Varian. Maybe he has more. I don't know about that. Oh, Maybe man, try his like necklace. It's been quite a while. <laughs> Ask his necklace. Yeah, Varian's sister. <laughs> <laughs> She's a girl. She is She is female as far as I'm aware. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hey, uh, Varian. <clears throat> <laughs> can I help you, Gilly? Uh, well, uh, I was just uh, wondering if I could talk to your necklace for just a moment. Uh, is me- that weird? Make a deck save. <laughs> He's gonna whip it at you. <laughs> uh, 12. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I feel uh, like a bird. <laughs> 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 Uh, she's your problem for the next at least half hour, uh, right? Uh, okay. Hello. Hi. Oh, Gilly, I don't know if we've met, actually. I'm Miss Lynn. Hello, Miss Lynn. Um, if you were on a date with, um, like a, like a, like a nice, like, soft mask that's terrified of women, what would you want her to act like on a date with you? Okay, so what are you like? You're the soft mask that's very terrified of women? Yeah, that's pretty much... That, okay, all right. It's pretty so much cause, actually. You want to know how you want... You want... Okay, I think she asked you out because she thinks you're cute. So maybe you could just go and be cute. Or, here, if you're really worried, wear me, I'll come with you. I'll wingman you. Oh my god, do you want to take along? I, I'll be very quiet, but if you need me, just go to the bathroom and I'll tell you. I'll tell you what to do. Amazing. All right. Perfect. Together, we can get you laid. (laughs) (laughs) I'm pretty sure I saw Saved by the Bell episode. (laughs) I saw Saved by the Bell episode with this plot. This can't go wrong. (laughs) Nothing, nothing bad is going to happen. I'm just saying that this necklace now takes the phrase... A conversation piece to a whole new <laughs> level. But um, because oh. like it's, it's both. She might be like, "Oh, that's a lovely necklace," and she'd be like, "Great, I have to go to the bathroom." And what the, the fuck do say, I say to you. that? <laughs> well, you would say thank you, and then you tell her something nice that she's wearing. Say you like her shirt or something. Exactly. Oh, you're so helpful. 
Okay. <laughs> Together we can do this. Don't worry. You're not alone with me, Gilly. <laughs> Girl power. <laughs> Teamwork. Uh, do you, do you guys do we have that? anything else to do with Bob? Yeah, what, do just does anyone want to do job? anything else? Uh, we can head back, let Gilly go on her date, and we'll visit the Elder Druid and stuff tomorrow. Hopefully we have a rev then. Uh, Winter, Winter's like, I'm going to stay here for a bit if that's cool. Sure. Take it the creepy trees. Don't get, don't get sucked into a tree. I don't think I will. I'm not okay. very. <laughs> As if it's like a, a fault in character. Right? To be <laughs> <laughs> I would this never. This is really peaceful for me. I think I'm going to stay here. All right, Mike. Uh, well, have a nice evening. You have a nice evening, too. Thank you. The vest turns green. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Phaser cast calm emotions on you. Oh my gosh, amazing. Wait, I need to I need to pull up this vest list so that I could reference it easily. <laughs> just like you can you can computer. create it what to be whatever you need best? it to be. Okay. <laughs> so that way you have it. Um Yeah, oh uh, you guys okay, head back. Wait, so the way that it's set up right now, fear is green, love is lime green. Yeah. And I very much enjoy that they're that close together because right? that feels right. I really when I was like, I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> That's perfect. Anyways, back to the tavern. You guys head back to uh what it, what was the tavern's name? It is Druid's the Drove. Druid's Drove. Drove. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you head um, back to the Druid's Drove. Yes. Before uh Gilly's date, Damascus will just pause, look at her and go, You got this? You are smart and talented and gorgeous, and any woman would be lucky to have you. Good luck. And Thank you, Damascus. Bardic, bardic inspiration. inspiration <laughs> in case you need it. You are feeling good. <laughs> okay. Calm. I am so, my emotions are calmed. I am inspired. I have uh, a friend on my neck. You have a friend with you, and even Talon does your hair so that it's cute oh and gosh. adorable. And you show up looking like a cute little fairy it has just occurred to me that she did say that she just maybe would show up and this might not even be a thing that's happening as you as he then that's like you're on the main <laughs> level when you have that thought i may have if, overhyped this a bit <laughs> you're sitting there you're waiting the uh the uh the tavern owner has brought out a like a, a drink for you and as you're waiting you hear <clears throat> I'm really glad you showed up oh oh hi hi I'm glad you showed up too hello what was her name again <laughs> I feel like Gilly remembers but I don't Exus Exus yeah Exus okay wait I'm gonna write it down Exus hi Exus nice to see you again um would, would you like a drink? Sure. I'm having this, um, it's like a, I think it's like a tea of some sort, but like spiked, and it's got flowers in it. Yeah. I'm you have, if you don't want flowers in your drink. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, it, well, if you don't want flowers in your drink, you, you can just ask for it. A lot of our stuff comes with, with that in it. Oh. No, no, I think it's lovely. Oh, yeah. flowers. Uh, she sits down next to you. I like your hair. Thank you. Uh, the dragon did it. A dragon did it. It's a a fairy dragon. He's a he's sometimes a dude. It's my friend did it. Thank you. Okay, so a fairy dragon that's sometimes a dude. Okay, mm -hmm. um, that's cool. <laughs> what color is your yeah. what color is your best right now? Oh. I feel like it's edging into indigo, which is, is that disappointment. She's disappointed in herself. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, how is uh, the rest of your shift? Well, I have to say, it seemed to drag on forever. 
Yeah. Yeah, work does that. Um I like your hair. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> she takes a drink of <laughs> the drink that's just been dropped off for her. So you're not from here, are you? No, uh, no. I'm uh, actually from uh, Oman. Oh, okay. Is, yeah, it's down south uh, in Horn, near the coast. And so. and is it nice there? I've never been. I've never really gone anywhere out of Thon. Oh, it's lovely. No, you should travel. Um, yeah, no, it's really nice. Uh, there's a there's a Wizard Academy there, so that's kind of their brand of everything. Um, and uh, yeah, it's great. And the, there's the ocean, which okay. So a lot of people don't like the ocean. I love it. Fucking love the ocean. It's great and uh, it's very beautiful. And you should you should go see it if you have the chance. Um. Oh, I hear it's really dangerous. I, I, it's yes and no. I mean, yes, it, it is. Yes, but it's also quite beautiful. I mean, maybe you could take me. It, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe someday. I like when you when you laugh. It's really cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> i'm dying i'm dying um is there anything that you want to do with access tonight um i feel okay i feel like gilly's gonna blow this and i'm not sure how gilly's gonna i know exactly how gilly's gonna blow this actually okay um Gilly's going to spend approximately 70% of their conversation talking about her friend from back home oh, who owns no, a bakery. Cozy. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's not aware of what she's doing and all. The yeah, no. Yeah, she's got, you should, oh my God, you should try these buns. She's got these great, like the cinnamon buns, right? But not with cinnamon, actually. Like they've got nutmeg in them. And I think like a little bit of cinnamon, but mostly they've got like nuts and like uh, uh, raisins in there and uh -huh. uh, like a little bit of lemon zest, apparently. I've never made them, but I watch her bake all the time. Like I just kind of sit in there on the counter. Um, uh, but they're, they're really great. So if you're ever going to Thorn, you should, you should, uh, it's called, um, Stormbreaker, Stormbreaker Cafe. And, okay. she, and she runs the bakery there. So you should definitely check that out. Um, if, if you ever go. It's, and this is like, you guys have like had some dinner and you've spent the whole night talking about Posey. Um, this has been a running theme. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after, after another like 15 minutes of it she she reaches forward and she takes her hand in hers and she yeah. she goes you know i think i think that you and posy really need to have a talk at some point and she leans forward and gives you a kiss on the cheek the jacket is so green okay. yeah, and her I think, face I is think... so red this has been a really nice night. Yeah, and I, no, I, and I, I really enjoyed your company. That, me as well. Yes, thank you. You're very easy to talk to. Um, and you're yeah, very pretty. <laughs> I, I don't know if you want to um get like go on a, a walk or anything like that. Or I would love to, but maybe we should go just as friends. Because I think I think maybe. I think maybe, honey, I think that you might be uh, kind of in love with someone else. I can't imagine. What would make you think that? Uh, just just uh, call it a hunch. Uh, well, uh, if that's what you want, that's perfectly fine. Um, And yeah, let's, let's go for a little friend walk. And you know what? They'll have a lovely time. A they lovely have a great walk. time. <laughs> They have a great time. You go to the gardens and it's like a beautiful night, but you spend the whole night talking about Posey again. <laughs> and, she and she spends the rest of the night trying to explain to you that you're in love with your best friend. Billy's an idiot. 
<laughs> and Winter's it's a really there. nice time. Uh, no, he is not. When By the okay. time you get there, Winter is gone. Uh, and also not at home with you guys. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. He does come back later that night, but I don't know if any... We, you can roll to see if anyone's awake. Faza is. Faze is awake. I feel like Gilly's awake, but she's very distracted. I didn't ask. She's thinking. I'm awake too. I rolled a 17. Okay. Damascus so and Faze are you're, hanging out on the couch. <laughs> a rev- variance out. <laughs> um, you guys are sitting out. You haven't gone into the into uh, the condo yet. And and that's when you know winter walks in and is like oh it's pretty late he goes i was gonna say the same thing to you where have you been all night Young why man? you worried about me hey how's your date did you have a good time oh gilly how'd it go oh uh, you know it was great we had a, had a great time talked a lot um and, you know, she just, wa- she wasn't, like, she wasn't interested in anything romantic. It turns out she wanted to be friends. Um, so we just, yeah, had a nice, nice friend night. It was lovely, actually. Oh. Was I, was I really off? I did not get friend vibes when to know you would. Yeah, I'm not there. Hey, I- I'm not good at vibes, so. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Poor Gilly. <laughs> Oh, just didn't work out. Fault. I don't know why. He forgot to tell you rule number two: don't talk about other girls on your date. Yeah. By the time after that is being said, and you're like, I don't know, man. I don't think she was. You hear? Oh, yeah. What does my dad have to say? About you hear that? Miss Lynn just go? <laughs> she talked about her best friend the whole time. She's fucking in love with someone else, boy. Oh. I don't think that was it. I'm pretty then, sure it was. I was there. I should have told you, Brad. I gave you so many pointers. All right, next time, don't talk about other girls on a date with a girl. Okay, okay. Don't talk yeah. about other girls. Maybe we should tattoo that like, one to her somewhere. Oh, I'm, yeah, we can add it to this sleeve right here. And the, it's a tattoo sleeve of advice. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Gilly, I would die for you. Well, uh... <laughs> that's the best thing. I just... I just thought about it. Now I have to think of what all the advice is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to just write it all out for me because I want to know. It's I will do that. It's <laughs> so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like I. One of them is just like turn off. Or turn out the, or blow out the candles before bed. Like just like don't like, <laughs> do not wash reds with whites. Yeah. <laughs> uh ocean water is not for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the first ones. That's it. That was the top. first one that started it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I think that's where we'll call the set. <laughs> Oh, I'm catching um, up on the chat. Y'all fucking know what color her vest was when she was talking about posing. Come on. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it was it was it was love. You were in love. Mm. Lime green. I just needed the canonical confirmation. I'm like, I I I, I had a feeling, mm-hmm. but say it. <laughs> That's her whole deal, man. The whole deal is she's in love with her best friend. Like disaster lesbian. But, like, best part, like, if you're not sure, just start talking and then look down at the vest. And right? Your, That's true. Your vest will now <laughs> tell you how you're feeling about something. You never That's very have, useful. For somebody I who, kind of want it. Right? Like, I need it. If you did, I love it so much. I don't want to know. I don't want to fucking know. Everyone would look at me and know that I'm like stank eye the whole time at them. <laughs> yeah, the fact that other people have the key to this is problematic, and I hope that's limited to thought. <laughs> it is. It totally is. It's like a it's like nightmare. a cultural thing. Just yeah, like us walking around and just your <laughs> vest is constantly indigo while you're looking at everybody. 
You've oh, noticed that boy. it's actually on it's a lot of kids. for disgust. <laughs> right. It's on a lot of kids. Yeah. The parents can just spy on them. I know what yeah. you're feeling. I'm not <laughs> mad at you, Mom. I can see that you are. What did I tell you about stranger danger? <laughs> wait, wait, um, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Uh, it's very important to me. I need to find this again. You've got anger, anticipation, joy, love, fear, sadness, disappointment, disgust, jealousy, and surprise. Which that's that pretty much does run the gamut. That's useful. <laughs> what is it when it's like resting? Does it have a resting color? Is it just brown. like gray? Okay, it's just yeah. brown. <laughs> it's it's brown best. Can you imagine though? That would somebody... go well with her whole look. So that's good. yeah. <laughs> Some so parents it's, it's like good look, yeah. What did I tell you about Stranger Danger? What did I tell you about that van that has candy painted on the side and the kids' thing just glows yellow, which is joy? They're like, no! Bad! Candy van! Candy? (laughs) They're like, bad! Help me help you! Help me help you! (laughs) Yeah. We don't feel joy about random spray-painted candy vans. Bad joy! Bad! (laughs) And the kids just like, They're not gonna give you a puppy, okay? candy? Yeah, free puppies. That is a lie. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I am I Sneeze Stars, and I have been tonight's shenanigan sovereign, and we will see you next week. Uh, Dan, do the thing. Oh, yeah, the thing. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. And tonight I have been Damascus Silver, the half elf bard warlock who wants to know where Winter went all night. What are you up to? Tell me your secrets. Who could say? Very mysterious. Uh, <laughs> Gilly. Or Kara, sorry. And Caro, I have been Gilly. The absolutely useless gay. Um, and you can find me at Imaginary Caro on TikTok. James. Far from the absolutely useless gay. <laughs> don't. Don't. Don't sell her short. That's okay. I, I, I am happy You're to strong. pass the torch to you, though, because that was previously a Rev's roll, and now, That's now it's true. yours. Now it's yours. I'm um, honored. Uh, because I went from the disaster gay to apparently father now. So Daddy? Hey, right? you can be both. I might have to be. Disastrous. <laughs> on two levels. But, uh, Hey, Internet, I'm James, or Mazrix Message 24. Uh, tonight I played uh, Varian Arbor and his terrible impersonation of his alter ego, R of Day's Ark. Uh, <laughs> the uh, respective sorcerer or druid, depending on who I wake up as that day. So uh, tune in tomorrow when we wake up and find out whether I get to actually, you know, interact with my family as myself or as their very, very distant ancestor whose dispossessed soul inhabits my body. Um... Because of what fuck's that about? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for uh, me. Uh, come hang out with us in Discord. We're cool people. It's fun. We'll post the link for like the seventh time in chat. Um, not because like we're eager to have you join us or anything like that, but just like because like it's we something are. to check it. It's something to check out if you have the time. Um, and stuff. Uh, that's, that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's okay, it. That's we're it. done. Is that it? That seems it. We're gonna go. That seems it. We'll see you next week. Bye. Goodbye. See you Bye. Next week. Goodbye. <laughs>